Welcome back to 2D6 Dungeon. Today we are going to see if Eduardo here can get through level 3. This is the Crypt. I've never been this far before, so this is going to be quite the adventure. Let's take a quick look over here at the Board Game Geek page so that we all know what we're talking about. This is 2D6 Dungeon. You can get this from all over the place, it seems like. I have discovered that there's like three different places that this uh, exists. Drive -through RPG, uh, itch.io, and uh, the actual website drgames.co.uk so you can get the file from pretty much anywhere real fast here just so we can kind of recap this is what our dungeon looked like on level two here uh there were only two rooms i didn't go to and i kind of left the fishery alone i was afraid you never know what might happen uh with <laughs> those fish and i was uh i was pushing towards the end there to get through the grand hall which we had to phase walk through the door with a potion or a scroll or something i had uh i don't remember now because I, I remember messing up though i think i have a scroll of invisibility not a potion of invisibility <laughs> uh and uh then we went into the throne room and we had a just knocked down slugfest that ended in me really barely winning i actually had to call upon a god i had to use my uh, god's favor thing which so after thinking about this uh between yesterday and this morning I, I really realized how much i enjoyed the uh the system of like you know i mean i could have died there but I was able to do the do the you know God's favor and, and like you know ask to be fully healed in the middle of this fight you know just kind of mutter something under my breath to this God and I lucked out and I I got I got a roll of two when I needed a uh, like a like a is it is three or less or a, I needed a, a one or a two or a one or a two or a three whatever it was uh, we pulled it off otherwise we would have had to uh, quaff a potion which I did find the rules for I, I knew it was in the book somewhere and I just couldn't find it <laughs> but I did find it it's under use magic potions right there you can drink one potion per round of combat. Duh. Okay, I knew I'd read it, I just couldn't find it at the time. Sometimes it's hard when you're trying to move the game along and look up rules at the same time. Uh, so anyway, I think that's really cool. And it occurred to me this morning that what a good system that is for essentially like a karma system or a luck system in a game, right? Luck is sometimes a statistic in like video games, and it, it often doesn't have a very obvious effect you know there's usually obviously it's a computer program when i'm talking about a video game so there's math behind it right so it's like oh maybe luck affects your chance to land a critical hit or to poison an enemy or to stun an enemy or whatever but it's always hidden from you right this this kind of felt like a really good way to handle luck right little things that you're doing and i, I could see this being like maybe you know karma as well like maybe you do little things throughout the game that earn you a karma point and then at some point you have to make that roll just like we're doing here with the favor of the gods but um obviously this fits better and i think it's really cool that we have so many uh and so many ways to to find those things so i thought that was really cool i enjoyed that because i hadn't done that before um one other thing was i ran out to town so let's take a look here again at the map real fast uh in the grand hall I lucked out because I didn't go back to town uh, in the other part of the dungeon, but I had no lockpicks to open that locked door, and I didn't want to fight anybody else because I was a little afraid of getting uh, killed because we knew we were coming up on the end of the dungeon here. So I snuck out to town, and just in the interest of time, uh, I didn't really do any selling. I mean, I didn't do any selling or anything. I just put any treasures into my loot lockup. We'll deal with that later. And this whole time, I hadn't been paying very good attention to like how the, the town stuff works and my money. And so when I finally tallied it all up, I had 60 gold. And I had just said something like, oh, I'll just buy a whole mess of these herbs or whatever. Well, first of all, no the heck you won't because you are, um, you are limited to only three herbs of a type. Uh, so you can only purchase three. So I went ahead and, and bought myself... Uh, three of these and three of these, the Ilios and the and the Mal Malico. I bought three of those, and I already had, I had one left over, uh, and three of the Ilios uh, leaves. Uh, or no, I had the Malico leaves, that's right, and I bought the Ilios leaves for 36 gold pieces. They were they were 12 gold a piece. Do I have like a chart for that here somewhere? No, I don't I don't think I do. I have I have like random charts. I don't really use them when I'm playing. So yeah, I don't I don't have them any anywhere handy. They're going to be in the book here, but I yeah, it's really uh it's really expensive to buy your herbs. Look at that, 12 gold. The herbalist table here in the book, 12 gold, and it says you're maxed out of, of buying three of each kind. I didn't buy any rations because I figure we have six. We're probably okay unless we get into a really sticky situation where we're doing a lot of uh, locked doors with no lock picks, which is which is which is a very real possibility. Uh, but one thing I failed to do because I completely forgot I had it is we had a liber. Oh, I didn't. I erased it. I, I rewrote this so it's a little bit cleaner looking. Uh, we had one liberated prisoner, and so I've never dealt with that before. Turns out there's a chart for it. Where is it? Right there. Liberating prisoner. So when I went to town, that would have happened, right? 
So let's do it now, and then I think we're ready to get started. Dun, da, da, da. What is this here? It's a D6. Goodness. Okay, so we have ourselves a one. You hear nothing more about the prisoner. Fabulous. Okay, so it's gonna be it's gonna be one one of those kind of days again. <laughs> Every roll is a one or a six, huh? Okay. Well, here we are. So I'm not gonna. I don't think I need to go through all the initial setup stuff. Here's the handy dandy flow chart that I don't even think we need anymore because we have a pretty good handle on how this game plays. Um, just before we get started, I want to show you that I did take some time yesterday. This was. This was me cleaning up the rest of the of the things. And again, I, I think that the best bet is to just buy the cards. I, I really wish I would have known how much flipping back and forth between enemies and the tables I would have been uh, you know needing to do. So I had to just print these out. And instead of printing out the cards so they're small, I printed them out of the book because they're larger. And so I have like these really nice, I have a fat, I did them all just to be done with them now. Like, you know, wishful thinking, right? <laughs> We're gonna get to floor 10. Uh, so I have this giant stack of these, uh, you know, papers here because they show up rather well on this screen when I put them up here for you. Anything smaller might be a little bit more difficult to read but again, if you're looking to purchase this, I cannot stress this enough how handy and useful the cards are going to be for the creatures because these are just on printer paper. Look how thick they are, this stack is. And it's hard for me to like flip through them. You know, they get stuck together. It's just they're terrible and they're weak. They're going to fall apart. Uh, it's a huge waste. So instead, go out and spend the 11 pounds or whatever it is that uh, that you need to get uh, get your hands on those cards when you're buying the game. All right, so we're going to go same way we always have. Gray is going to lead. Let's see what our starting room looks like on level three. Oh, five by five, that's ten. Oh, that's legit, right? Look at this. Okay, draw, let's see, is this the start of the dungeon? Yes, draw an archway at the desired entry point. Well, it's right there. Specify one die as the primary. We know that's great. Is it larger than 12? Yeah, that's going to be 25. That's huge. So again, this thing says to just have them round up. That's three by three. That's a nine. I don't know why that keeps happening to me, but it does. So here we go. We're going to go like this. I don't mind these nine rooms. Actually, it's kind of a nice... I almost just not want to not bother rolling because it's kind of silly when I can just do something like this. Or, you know, even the one I see a lot is like the six by six room. You just... Uh, or not six by six, six by two. I think I said five by two. The the Anyway, this is nine, but if you whack it down a notch, it's still a good entry room, right? And you just you don't waste those three. So... I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe that didn't need to be a roll. I, I don't know. All right. Anyway, here's our entryway, and it says these are all archways. Now, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And I'm gonna color them in so it makes it easy to see which one is our starting room. Not that it's not obvious, but here we are. I don't think I've ever rolled a room that like looks exactly. Oh, I guess I couldn't. I'd have to roll a a one and a one, and then a two and a two to get exactly that room again. I think. How funny. Okay. All right, what's up? Which way are we going to go? Oh, I can't believe I remembered this time. I think I've forgotten every time. We're going left first. It just It's easier for me to draw this way because it's dry erase, and I'll smear the map if I draw over here. So maybe Eduardo's rule is you can't go wrong when you go left. <laughs> All right, so we have a two, two by three, huh? So that's kind of a small little room here. So let's, let's do this. I, I like to make the dungeons fairly large, too. I like to spend some time. Oh, you know what I forgot? The door die. That's my problem. This is the one I don't need. This is the guy I need right here. How many how many exits we got here? Two, huh? Okay. What I say it was two by three. Uh, so it looks like we're gonna have a door here coming out, and and this is a small room for our first room. How exciting! And these are all new tables, by the way. I've never seen this stuff before. And I think they're always archways, right? Out of small rooms. Um, Barely certain they are. Let's take a look here. I have a whole new chart. What am I gonna do with myself? Let's see. Oh, I've got a mess of stuff to, to sort through on the computer here real quick. Bear with me just a moment. And we have, here we go, the new chart. Mm, small rooms, okay. There we go, oh, having these bookmarked are so good. All right, level three small rooms, that's us. What, what do we got here? This is a... Uh, 2d6, we've got ourselves a five. This is an urn space, huh? Okay, let's write that in here just so we don't forget. Urn space. We roll a five. What is an urn space? These are, these are completely new. Oh, that's right, this is the crypt, right? Is that what it's called? I forgot. Right. Apologies, I hear an airplane flying right over. The crypt, yeah, 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 this is the crypt. Okay, 
Earn space. In the center here is an urn on a pedestal. You search it, uh, if you search it, roll on URL1-2 and then roll on L3P as a patrol comes along. So, I'm not so sure I want to get wrecked by a level 3 patrol right away, right? Uh, we do happen to have maximum hit points right now. We can always come back here. Uh, so we can just say that, what, what, I can't draw an urn. I can try. You know what this wound up being is like, one of those, uh, I'll put a box on it for a check mark. One of those, like, I feel like some Egyptian type thing here. Uh, maybe it's like a gray, large, waist high type thing. I don't know. Who knows? Well, said it was on a table in the center of the room, right? Oh, on a pedestal. Ooh, there's some scary stuff in there. I'm not so sure I want to I wanna search that out. Now, I've never actually seen the urn table, so perhaps, perhaps we're mistaken. What chart does it want? In the center here is an urn on a pedestal. URL 1-2. Oh, wouldn't you know it? Ta-da! All right, URL1-2. So just out of curiosity, what could be here? Urn dust. It's never been used. It's empty. Fragments and some bone, some copper pieces, you know? Yeah, some coal. I don't know. Uh, I, I, do, uh, I do like the idea of going in blind, but I also don't want to die right off the bat. So you'd have to roll really well. Uh, to make that one worth it. I'm not entirely sure that we're gonna we're gonna risk that just yet. Let's let's see what we can find first and have a decent adventure before I go and get myself killed because that's exactly what's gonna happen today. I am going to die. So let's see what happens here. Um, ma, 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 ma. let's see here. Was that a was that a unique room by the way? Earn space. No. Okay. Okay. So we have a th another. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well. This, we'll be here all day. <laughs> so, so this one's only going to be two rooms tall, though, but three rooms long with only one exit. So we'll do this, this, and that. And again, it's another archway. And that does, that you know what, that does mean the room, you know what, let's not do that. Let's go up. Let's, let's see here. Let's go up this way. There's our one exit. Uh, yeah, our small little room here. So here we go again, I guess, right? We get to, I don't even have to change the chart. Look at us. Uh, for a stone shelf. Okay, well, here we are. This is a an archway. So this is a four stone. You know what? If, if any of you have ever played something like Oblivion or Skyrim, this this floor is already starting to remind me of the dungeons in that in that game, right? You go down there and there's like these I don't know what you call them, like carve outs in the walls with you know urns sitting there and stuff, and it's and it's all it's very small at first until you open up these big rooms. In the center here is an urn on a pedestal. No, that's five, uh, four stone shelf. There's a stone shelf on the wall here. On it are the remains of a number of red candles. So let's take a look. Is wax a thing here, maybe? Do we see, like, like what can we do with wax? I kind of like the idea of just having some wax. Like, we could scrape that up with our with our axe or some of these forged blades that we have. I don't know what we're going to do with wax. Maybe we scrape it up and add it to our wax our wax kit. So we have a little bit more wax than we had just in case, right? Maybe, maybe who knows? Maybe we start making a whole bunch of uh, potions this, this go around and we wind up, uh, you know, having to use a lot of wax and, you know, hey, maybe we found some extra wax in here. So there's another thing. I wanna, I'm going to point this out because I know uh, some of you out there have played roguelike video games. And I keep saying this, that this, this, this 2D6 dungeon reminds me a lot of those kind of games, which are my favorite kind of games. So it's fantastic. And I am not the super role player person, right? Like I'm fine just going through and killing stuff and a little tiny bits of story here and there. And there's a game I've managed to mention every show now, uh, or every ep uh, video here for this, uh, called Etrian Odyssey. And they, uh, I played through uh, like the original two, they remade them, but they, me they remade them with story as opposed to the first two that were like, the you know, there was no story. There's like, here's a town, oh my God, there's a bad guy, go kill it, you know, <laughs> kind of a thing. And I loved those. And when I played the remix, Etrian 1 and 2, that I think they're called Untold, they have like story and I didn't, like the games were better, you know, graphically, mechanically, the audio and all that stuff. But thank goodness there was an option to play it in classic mode without all the, the like anime chitter of the characters. Oh, look at that, we've got a skinny hallway here. Okay, so this is going to be, ooh, oh wow, this is just bizarre. We just found ourselves a dead end. Now, see, that's dumb. I wish I would have gone this way because we're going to waste a bit of our dungeon here, but that's okay. That's okay. Sometimes, sometimes the dungeon is not what you think it is. Oh, this is the one that was drying out yesterday, and I wanted to, 
actually made it in the garbage can. Okay, I just wanted to see if it worked at all. Okay, three, three, and now it is a dead end. Wow. Okay, you know what? Sometimes the dungeon is just super random and we don't know what we're going to find. Okay, well, let's come back down here. And I guess we'll go through this door here and see what we can find. What a, what a, what a place. What a place we've got here today. And that's funny. It was a one and a six again, wasn't it? <laughs> I feel like that's all I ever roll. Ooh, this is a big boy. Okay, so can we get, we can just barely squeeze a six in here, right? Three, four, five, six. Look at that by three, four, five, six. And there's only one door out of this place. You know what I think? I think it's right here. That's what I think. Wow, that is a monster room. Boom. Guess what? We get to roll on the large chart. I can't believe this. Okay. Uh, we're starting out our day today with small rooms. And see, didn't I just just, just mention this with the uh, like Skyrim stuff and the, the Oblivion uh, dungeons here? I think all these Elder Scrolls video games. I can't remember Morrowind or Daggerfall well enough to tell you. The dungeons, okay, or, or arena, right, for that matter. Let's see here. We need a large room. Level three large rooms. Oh, you know what I need to do? I talked about this before. We need to look and see if there's like a percentage room on here, right? Does anybody see that's level four? Level, level four. What am I doing? Level three. I don't see a percentage room on here, right? Because maybe there's, so there's, there's no, like, essentially no boss on this floor. Maybe it's every other floor. I don't know. It's not like spelled out anywhere. So I don't know. Okay, so let's do large rooms. Oh, this is it. Oh, please roll a crypt. That would be, make so much sense. All right, we have a nine a mausoleum. That makes sense too. <laughs> All right. Nine M A U S O L E U M unique. There it is. Unique. Doors are reinforced. Door singular. So those are locked on a what? A five and a six. Somehow I've managed to forget now. Uh, exits reinforced are five and six. Yeah. After rolling a thousand of these yesterday. Okay. So here we go. We're in the mausoleum. This is clearly. Uh, this is clearly important. This clearly important space features statues, urns, and tombs out of a big urn burst. Oh no, a D3 plus one giant rat. If you survive, if I survive, oh my god, all right, hang on. Two, three giant rats. Okay, three X giant rats. And if we survive... Oh my god. Okay, so we have S L T two and y what? U R <laughs> U R L two. If we survive. If we survive. Roll an S L T two. I'm not sure what I assume that's an urn one. Okay. Well, I've never fought a giant rat before, so let's see here. Let's see how long it takes me to shuffle. Giant rat, look at that. Came right up. And we're gonna have to fight well, they only have seven hit points, and they're gonna get us thirty-six experience total. So that's all right. Let's hope they're not... Oh, of course, they have seven hit points, and I have a bunch of D6s here. Okay. Time for some new dice. All right. Do we have any D10s here I can use for hit points? <laughs> uh, here's, a, here's one. Here's one. Oh, you know what? D8s will work. D8s will work. Oh, I have two of them. Look at that. Perfect. So here's our new hit point counters for these fine folk with our fluorescent orange opaque red my butt. Okay, so here we go. So we've got, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to do this now because I, I can't have that many dice balancing up on this thing, but I'll put this up here so you can see this, and maybe we'll keep these out here for their hit points, okay? We'll do that. All right, treasure, a rat tail without becoming bloody. That's interesting to note. Uh, jump away on secondary fours. Great, so cleave is going to be minus two damage for me. Vicious Scratch? Well, at least they don't hurt. The rats in the crypt levels have been affected by the grim soup of magic and toxins that pollute the many dark places. Lusting for fresh meat, they attack when they see you enter. Me too. Me too. Eduardo has been affected by the grim soup of toxins down here, right? All right. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do here? So, we, God, this is crazy, and they have 7 HP each, huh? Well... Shift of one, these guys should be pretty easy for us. Come on, Eduardo. 
Let's see it. You've got 30 hit points. Hopefully everybody can see this. I know I, I'm bad about showing the sheet, but I think all the all the stuff that's important to read, you can actually see. All right, here goes my first attack, round one. A one, hey, it's not a six, a one, <laughs> a one and a three. Well, unfortunately, the best I can do is a cleave, which of course is going to be a minus two. We're just gonna start, uh, let's start down here in this corner, I guess. We'll hit this guy. Boom, we got a, uh, I just realized how many dice I'm going to have to roll for these guys. Uh, it's a lot. Minus, what did I say, minus two? Uh, so we're gonna do uh, three damage to this guy, bringing him down to, here, look at that, boom. I'm afraid of knocking these over. Okay, so there, we've got one guy down to four. Now I have to make four rolls against me? Oh dear, I wish I had a, uh, like a potion bomb. Just chuck it in there like a Molotov or something, right? Okay, so I don't even know what I need, a five, two? And they only have one shift point, so they're gonna have to roll a heck of a lot better than that. Yeah, these, these guys are just an annoyance here. Okay, so that's one. Uh, this is two, a three, four? You would need two shift points, my friend. Yeah, they're, they're gonna have to nail one of these, so let's see here. Um, they've got a five, three, but that's not good enough. We can't get to a two, three. And the last roll for them, well, okay. All right, ooh, ooh, is that closer? Nope, three, five, no, you guys are miles away. <laughs> okay, well, that's round one. Let's go to round two here, still no bonus. I'm gonna attack the same rat. And I have a three. Ah, oh, it's a bummer. I was hoping it was way better than that. Because again, I can only do a cleave for minus two. <sighs> yes, that's you know what? That's still four damage. So boom. We are we are minus one rat. So now we've got to do three rolls against us. So roll number one. This vicious scratch. A two and a six, huh? No, you're too far away. To, oh no, a six and a two is too far away from a six and a five. La la la, six and, oh, you're gonna disappear. A one, a uh, five and a one, I'm sorry. A five and a one, so five, one, no, you're miles away too. This is crazy, this feels good. This feels like I'm fighting some little rats. You know what I mean? Like, like they're terrible, they're, they're bad, but they're, they're numerous and annoying, right? How many was that? Was that two and then a third? That's funny. I like that. This combat system. Okay, so one and five. Again, miles away. So now it's round three. My turn first. I wish I had a way to do it. And they're just annoying enough because they don't have six hit points. Five, two. Good deal. I can sharp slash one of them. So just a straight up D6 on one of them. They jump away. Look at that. What do they need to hit me? A two and a six. So my armor is worthless. Great. I only did two damage to one, so I'll take this guy down to... 5 HP, and here we go with three big rolls against me again. <laughs> All right, so we got a four and a five? No, and well, next round it's gonna be a lot more difficult uh, to do so many rolls here. Let's see here, a three, six. Nope, because we're gonna have, they're gonna have two shift points then, and then we have what? We have a one, three. Uh, ooh, somebody got me. Okay, so the fourth one of them got me there with a vis vicious scratch. And look at this, it's a D3 minus one. Holy cow, so they two damage, two damage. All right, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna, just gonna put a minus two there. We'll tally this up later. Okay, so now it's round four. Let's, 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 let's make mincemeat out of one of these guys. All right, so I have a four two, so I can do a sharp slash. That's gonna be my just straight up D6 here with no modifiers against the guy with five hit points. Boom, there we go. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, now, uh, rat number one or rat number two here? Number one with a four, and they have they have two points now. Where'd you go? You have a four, four, it looks like. So a four, four, not good enough either. That's amazing. Okay, and for the second rat, oh, funny. I hope I don't have to fight a patrol. Oh no! The rat jumps and swings a clawed paw, catching your chin, drawing blood. You lose two hit points. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Okay, so there we go. So we're minus two and minus two. Hopefully you can read that if need be. We are on round combat round five, so we have plus two shift points now, so we have four. All right, what have I got here? I need a... F That's good enough for another sharp slash for me, so we're gonna attack one with just a d6. Ah, oh, five. We'll bring this guy down to two hit points. Okay. Not bad. We stand a good chance of killing that guy next time. All right, so now they have what? They have three points, so now I have to pay a little bit more attention. 
That's just enough for them to hit me with a, with a vicious scratch, isn't it? It is, right? Because that one can become a two, and the five can drop two down and become a three. So vicious scratch, because they now have three. Yep. Vicious scratch is a, is a D3 minus one. All right. There we go. Oh, zero. Good deal. I like that. All right. And then I, I, that was, I suppose the first one, second one. I lost track here of how many guys I'm trying to fight. Two and four. Oh, look at that. They hit me again. Vicious, vicious scratch. Oh, this die. This is an actual D3 in case you wonder why I'm grabbing this different, different die here. So, ooh, that one hit me for another two. I'm taking, I've taken six points of damage from rats, right? They're annoying, but they're not pushovers. That is for sure. Uh, where are we at? Around six now? Okay. My first attack. I think we may as well just eliminate the little guy. Right? Okay. So we have a three, four. Oh, that's not wonderful for me. Uh, I can still get to a sharp slash though, right? Because I have three, four, five points now. So it'll cost me three to get that one and one to get that one. So it's only four. So sharp slash against the two, basically. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Let me, uh, like the, I like the idea of just getting, yeah, let's just get rid of it. Okay. Watch me roll a one. <laughs> okay. Oh, sometimes. What is it with me and these dice? All right. The first one, right, a one and a five. So they can make that work because they're going to have three, four shift points now. So they can easily, easily do, uh, can they get to the big one? No, they can't. They're way too far away. So vicious scratch D3 minus one. I'm just going to get whittled away here, taking two points of damage at a time. Look at this. Two more. We might have to drink a potion here, <laughs> fighting these rats. Uh, all right, second one. Second one is a 6-1. Ooh, they can do a bite. That's a D6 minus three. That's a bigger hit. Uh, okay, minus three. Oh, of course, they hit me for three. Wow, so two, four, six, eight, eleven 11 damage. Holy cow. So we are down to 19 hit points now, fighting rats. From 30, 19, wow, what a bunch of jerks. Okay, rats, I can't believe I have one hit point on this guy. So I basically have to go after that guy now. So yeah, I can easily make that a sharp slash. Uh, and this just has to be a one, there we go. <laughs> so that rat's gone. And the last rat in me. You've seen me kill all your friends, you're not afraid? I'm not afraid, I was born here. Uh, two and four, they can't quite make that a, no, they can't. They can make a vicious scratch out of it. D3 minus one though, okay. D3 minus one, so two more damage, <laughs> God. This is why I didn't want to search the urn because I knew that I would get wrecked. I want to get one more level uh, and killing rats like this is not the way to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and end this. Oh, we can't. We need to get two more good hits in. So I have a... Oh, God, this is kind of terrible. Uh, so if I roll two of these and two of those, I get a sharp slash, a D6. Where is it? Here. And this guy has seven hit points still. <sighs> well, now he's down to four. Gosh, I didn't. it didn't even occur to me that I might need larger dice for hit points. I've just been using these brown D6s I've had laying around. But now we're fighting guys that have lots of hit points. Okay, so now we have a two and a five for them. What does that get them? Um, oh, wow. They can actually get to their bite. Yeah, two. It would cost them all four shift points to get up to a bite, which is good. Okay, so they're going to roll a D6 minus three damage. Which get, Oh, my word. Are you serious? So I'm, 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 down, I'm down to 14 hit points. <laughs> Just fighting rats. All right, let's end this. Come on, Eduardo. Do it. Ah, okay, so I got a 6-5. What can I do with that? Um, two and four. That's too many points. I can't do it. Can I get here? That's four and one. That's five. So I can do a cleave. So I can do a D6 minus two damage. I need a six. Nope, I did zero damage. Wow, I, I am terrible. All right, this, this lone rat is going to be the death of me. You watch. 6-2, so they can get up to a bite again, a D3 minus, uh, or D6 minus 3. Wow. Oh, zero damage. Thanks. It happens to you, too. It's good to know, buddy. My turn. Oh, I missed. One and one. Are you kidding me? So now the giant rat gets to destroy me. Six. They can get up to a bite again, a D3 minus, uh, a D6 minus 3 damage. I keep saying that. So two more damage. They are, look at this. I'm down to 12 hit points. I have lost 18 hit points. Fighting three rats somehow. Okay, here it goes. Focus. Kill some rats. 
It's not that hard. It's the first quest in most RPGs, man. Okay, so we can we can get to a sharp slash. That's a D6. Let's see it happen. Oh my god, he has one hit point left. <sighs> what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? A, a four six, huh? A four six? Well, they can get to a bite again, right? That's one, two, three. Yep, they can get to a bite. Wow, another D6 minus three. <laughs> I'm going to get wrecked by these rats. Uh, one point of damage that time, so we're down to 11. I cannot believe this. It's a good thing I made that I bought all those, spent a ton. I had 60 gold, now I have 24 uh, on all those uh, herbs. I can make two, two healing salves, yeah? And we have a what? A four and a five. Do I, can I actually hit him? Yes, with a sharp slash. Okay, good. I can make uh, the f four points, and I have five points. So we're good. Let's do at least one point of damage somehow. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. I can't believe that. Okay, so we managed to finally kill the rats for, for the big win of, uh, what, 36... Holy smokes. Isn't that what I said? There's, there was three of them, right? Oh, I fought four. Oh, I fought four of them. I didn't... Ah, oh, stupid. Oh, that's so funny. I totally messed that up somehow. Oh, well. We fought four of them. I even wrote three, but I grabbed the dice because I wanted them. So, there it is. We're just going to do four. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> okay. Um, what is that? 36, 48? Oh, boy. 48. Okay, so... Let's do, I had it all worked out. So plus 48 is 872. I'll make sure I do the math right because obviously I'm not good at numbers. 872, 872. Okay, so now what we can do, and now I also, I can't believe that happened. Uh, a rat tail, I'm not so sure I want a rat tail. What would I do with a rat tail? Huh. Do you see rat tail? I see bone, leather, teeth, or fangs, leather, meat. Eh, I don't know about any of that kind of stuff here. I mean, there's other things I could use it for, but I, I think I think I want nothing to do with these these magical rats that that uh, that were three and then became four. Uh, <laughs> I learned my lesson. Uh, okay, pay attention to how many enemies you're fighting. Four giant rats. All right. So then we have to roll on the two tables. S L T two. What is is that? Um, let's see here. S L T two S S C T. What's S L T? S L T sarcophagus loot. Ooh. Okay. So S L T two. God, I can't believe I did that. I fought four of them. I only had to fight three. S L T. You know, stuff happens. Okay. So what do we have here? We have two. In, uh, the inside seems as if it has been cleaned out. You find nothing. You know what? There was a Tomb Raider here before me. I can tell you that right now then. So now we have to go over to URL2. Uh, URL2 is Earn Loot Table 2. And we have, well, we rolled better. Uh, at least a 5. Maybe a 7 here. No, a 9. There is an offering in the urn. You pull out a gold dagger. Oh, oh. Worth, uh, do I even have... Do I have... I have 3, 4, 5. Wow. Okay. A gold dagger with 5d6 plus 40? Good. We can probably sell that for 15 gold. Uh, Alright, what have we got here? We have 10, 16, yeah? So 16, 56. Wow. 56 GC gold dagger. That's why we had to fight an extra, extra, extra giant rat. He was the one that popped out of that urn. He was guarding the treasure of the rats. This is, this is a uh, 2d6 meets mouse ritter. Uh, okay, so that was fun. Now what we have to do, and I'm really bad at remembering how this works for some reason here. Do we get, let's see, there's magic. Now the game has a whole thing about like, um, you know, the invent, in, inventive usage and making yourself potions uh, and salves and, and healing herbs and whatnot, like right here, right? So uh, the healing balm, oh, it does say crushed Ilios petals. Look at that. So that was incredible luck that we found the mortar and pestle when we did because we need to crush them somehow and doing it with your boot ain't going to do it. So, you know, we can we can use once per room, it says. Oh, that's good to know, too. I'm going to mess that up, and I'm going to keep doing dumb things like, uh, you know, using as many as I need to. Especially because I can do something dumb. Like, I can go back to an empty room and come forward again 
you know, and then uh, and just do it twice. Uh, so let's let's take a look at the book here. This says every time you make a, uh, uh, make and I want to say an herbal remedy. Every time you make a, a herbal remedy apart from the chewed malaco. Uh, Malaco, Mal Malaco, Malaco, Malak, I don't know, Malaco, Malaco, you gain 5 XP per adventurer level. So we are level 3. So let's go ahead and gain ourselves 15 hit points and do that once, right? So we're going to scratch off, where, where are they over here? We have the mortar and pestle, we're going to go to 3 and 2, right? So 3 and 2. Money well spent up at the town, let me tell you. For 10 HP puts us at 21. Okay, and then 15 is gonna be 87. 87, 887, we're, we're closing in on level four, right? So I like that a lot, let's take a look here, right? So level four, uh, yeah, right? Level four gives us uh, number and max level of maneuvers. So I still only have two maneuvers, but I can take one from level two now. And I, th I think we desperately need something that's, that's a little bit stronger for us, a little bit better. All right, like the ability to read, three versus four. Uh, okay, so let's see, is this door locked? It's locked on a five or a six. It is not locked. This, this door is very much not locked. Okay, so let's go into that room and see what we can find. Hopefully it's not a whole bunch of rats. Let's see here, we have a four, two, with, ooh, two exits, huh? Okay. So four. So let's 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 kind of you know we didn't get a lot of this way, so we'll go this way and only two up, huh? With two exits. So let's say one of them is right here and one of them is right way over here. So here's our new room. Okay, eight. That is an eight by. So now I, oop, I'm on the wrong chart. Now I gotta go find the rooms again. Human rooms. Here we. This is the first normal room we've had. Yeah, it is. How exciting. All right, what did we find in the crypt? A, a two two, a two two. We found a cold crypt. This really feels like the crypt. I dig this so much. Okay, so two two. It's not just a, a a dungeon where you have these rectangular rooms and square rooms and these long, skinny, useless hallways. You know, it it it's it's thematic, right? There's not just like a random assortment of enemies in here to to kill for fun. This place is feeling pretty good. Uh, I really like it. I I've liked all of the dungeons I've generated in this so far, which is really going, you know, saying a lot for me. They feel different every time. I don't need to go out and buy, like, you know, uh, the plan, I think, going forward, if you if you look at this, if, you, if you're if you reading your book here, this is the human dungeons, right? So Toby could easily make a, like, lizard folk dungeon or something, and, and it would be completely different. It would feel completely different using the same base rules. That is such a smart system. I like it. It feels complete and well thought out. Uh, what was this now? 2-2. Two, two. Cold Crypt. Cold Crypt. All right. I'm freezing. This room feels colder. A coffin stands to one side. A white ambience creeps into the space. Uh-oh. You must face a ghost? Just one. I'm not going to fight two of them, I promise you. A ghost? <laughs> Uh, you can search the coffin, SLT1, SLT1. If I survive, what do the rooms look like in the cold crypt here? There are wooden doors and it is not unique. My favorite kind of doors because they're probably not locked. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh man, oh I gotta find a ghost, yeah? GH, you're gonna be right back here somewhere. Giant rat, giant horned anaconda that I want none of. There we go. We found a ghost. 15 HP. Let's do that. Maybe that works better. Maybe if I use dice out here instead of like trying to balance them on their sheet, which is prone to me knocking them over, maybe I'll just keep track of enemy like I did for D100 Dungeon. I'll keep track of it on with dice like this. This is this is the ghost. I wonder, is there a place? Look at that. Right above it. How's that? That's so hard for me to reach, though. Okay. <laughs> 50, 85 experience points. Hot dog. Two shift points, no treasure. Static fusion on primary twos and threes. Primary two. So my cleave is minus three damage and phased arm on secondary sixes. So I don't worry about that. So again, cleave is going to be a minus three 
and then my armor does no good. Ghosts appear in the form of their past life surrounded by astral energies uh, that channel their ferocity into the world. They viciously want revenge on all the living. Well, guess what, ghost? I'm going to smack you down today. All right. Yeah, I, can't, I don't want to reach way out here for these things. All right. <laughs> so here's our ghost. Okay. Uh, a four and a four. Well, that's uh, all I can do is a cleave. I can make that a, a, a cleave. So that's a... That's a D6 minus three because they use static fusion uh, on a primary two. So minus three, there we go. We're gonna do a whole point of damage. Awesome, now the ghost, three, three, five, and five, four. Three, oh wow, okay, well there's a three, six. So they're, they're, and they have two shift points as well. So they can't quite get to the five, four, but they can definitely do a spectral touch. A D6 minus one, I'm gonna die. Oh God, minus one, oh. Whew. Just passed right through me, look at that, round two. Mm. This is a level three guy, yeah. Feels like, oh, you can't see it. Whoosh. That's a three. Three, five for me, so I can make that, yay, again, a cleave, so a D6 minus three. One more point of damage. I'm just gonna roll all these down to fours is what we're gonna do, how's that? Okay, so now the ghost gets to fight me. Uh, whoa, a three, six. A three, six, uh, so they can do spectral touch again. D6 minus one. Wow, what luck, okay, round three. I need more armor. Maybe I should like pay attention when I go to town the next time and see what's out there. Try to sell all my loot and see how that goes. Three five, what can I do with a three five? Again, I can only do a cleave, which is a D six minus three. Okay, so I don't want I don't want anything to do with these. I am afraid of ghosts. All right, so they're gonna attack me. The ghost rolls a two six. Uh, which again, they can do a spectral touch, a D6 minus two. Yeah, I am not cut out for ghost fighting. I'll tell you that. So hey, I took a damage, so I'm down to 20. Okay, well. Now it's round four. I need to get some damage on these, this guy. He has 11 hit points left. Oh, don't roll another one. Are you kidding me? I missed. And they've got a 4-4, four, four, which again, Spectral Touch. Oh my god. D6 minus 1. This is as bad as the boss I just fought. Ooh, there's 5 damage to me. Ouch. That's 15 hit points. Oh, we cannot sustain this. All right, round 5. God, come on, man. Come on. I've got a 1. Oh, so at best, I'm going to have a cleave here. A 1-2, right. So again, a cleave, which is a D6 minus 3, which is just not doing it. I'm just not rolling well enough to make it worth it. So there's two damage. So we'll bring this down to a one. Oh, wow, this guy's whooping me. All right, and they have a five, four. Um, well, with the shift they have, guess what? <laughs> that is a spectral touch again. Whew. This ghost is gonna kill me, I can't believe it. Uh, five more damage, I'm down to 10 hit points. Unbelievable. This is why I didn't want to search down here. I knew these guys would be deadly. Even the rats are dangerous, right? Okay, my turn now. I've got a 1-3. Uh, no, a 3-1, I'm sorry, a 3-1. I got a 3-1, so I can do a sharp slash now. Thank goodness, just a straight up D6. That minus three hurts me bad. Ha, cool. One damage again, I cannot believe it. Now this guy basically can't miss me from, from what I, I, I feel like, right? So he's got a 2-1, it's a ghost, whatever. A 2-1 with, with five shift points? Holy cow, I gotta figure this one out here for a minute here. So the, the yeah, they can roll the three, uh, the two to a three, oh my god, again. So a D6 minus one. I roll wonderfully, let me tell you. Okay, so now I'm down to uh, five hit points, right? Oh no, minus one, six hit points. Uh, so my turn, I have to suck down the, uh, let's just take the one healing potion for plus 10 HP. Is that how that works? So I have 16. Is that how that works? I really need to look, look at this, right? Because I cannot remember if I can, let's see, magic, you can drink one potion per round of combat. Potion bottles, let's see, your knowledge of potion is advanced, priest, let's see, potions do not bring forth, what is this, page 29. Let me pull this up here. 
make sure that we all know how how potions work because I have no idea what I'm doing. For some reason, I've managed to avoid this. It was it was easier to to, to beg a god to heal me. Your knowledge of potions is advanced, having received training from the Zigor priests, allowing you to identify those. Let's see, potions do not bring forth magical energy that can be used at any point in the adventure, even during combat. If used in combat, you miss your attack to quaff the liquid. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're sucking it down. Uh, so that we can last, you know, maybe two more rounds <laughs> and uh, uh, prolong the agony here. So, uh, in fact, like, I had to throw this this bottle away. Like, I'm not even going to save that flask. I'm in combat. I can't stuff that in my backpack. So it's going to attack me because I drank. And, of course, it's going to get, you know, probably bang on what it needs. Uh, just about a 2-5 is a good enough to, again, do a D6 minus 1. Uh... Let's see here, d6 minus, one. oh, it's, hit, it's hidden behind this thing. So three damage, okay, so it's gonna bring me down to 13, wow. Okay, my turn. I have no way to do eight points of damage. So I'm gonna do a, a oh my god. What is with these rolls? So I only have, oh, I'm one short of being able to make that worth it. Four, five, so I can do a cleave again, right? Because I can't do two there and four there. That's six. I only have three, four, five. So it's one, and then four is five. Oh my god, so a d6 minus three again. This guy's a beast. Two damage. So he's down to six HP now. I don't ever want to fight a ghost. I need a proton pack. All right, oh, they rolled under. So they got a three. Not that they can't just do the same thing every round to me. Three, five, again. I really need more armor. I don't know how to do it. Oh, they landed right on it this time. Lucky you. You go, ghost. Minus one, three damage. So I'm back to 10 HP. Wow. Okay, this is scary. All right, my turn now. Now, I basically need a sharp slash and then, a, and then to roll a six here. So I got, oh, Two sixes. There it is, baby. Okay, so this is going to be a plus five damage because it's all of my shift points. So it's a, a sharp slash, which is a d6. So I'm going to do eight points of damage to finish this thing off. Oh my god, that was brutal. No treasure, but, but, and I'm going to make sure I'm doing all this right. So I'm going to whip out the dollar store calculator. Eight, eight, seven plus. Look at that. 85 experience points gives me 972. We are so close. So close, 972, oh my god, okay. Jeez, I do not wanna fight one of you guys again. Uh, okay, so I guess now, we kill the ghost. SLT1 is uh, what, that's the sarcophagus loot table, SLT1. Yep, that's what I wrote down. Okay, three, inside there is some decomposed wood laying in dirt. And detritus, huh? D detritus. I need, um, Detroit. I need, uh, I need to find some better loot in this game. How come I keep finding empty treasure chests? I keep rolling super low on my loot rolls. Like, oh my god, if, if you didn't watch the, uh, adventure yesterday, the, the, the table two through the domain, there were these, these, um, treasure chests. This was amazing. There were these, oh, I closed the tab. There were these treasure chests that, uh, were behind a locked like jail like like in a cage right and so what i did was i avoided that place and uh, just because i wanted to keep my 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 stuff for later right so i uh came back around towards the end of the dungeon and i had to roll an 11 or 12 to open it right with my plus one lock picks and my plus one discipline and i got lucky or precision whatever it was i had plus two essentially because of the plus one lock picks I was able to pick a lock, and then, so the whole adventure, I'm like thinking about all oh, the awesome treasure in these things, and it was nothing. It was just like dirt and rocks. I couldn't believe it. All right, so now we got to roll to see if this door is locked. That's a, that's a five, that's locked on a five and a six. A four. So we don't know about this one either. Okay, so that one's open up there, so let's go that way. Wow. We just got wrecked in the crypt by a ghost. What better place to find a ghost? And some dirt. All right, no wonder it's empty because they're all walking around in this. Oh wait, before I leave, uh, I need to do the, uh, the, the, oh man. I need to do the, some kind of healing again. So let's do, let's do the, the Malico leaves and, and crushing of the stuff again, right? So again, no, it's not this one. I don't know why I keep doing that. 
So again, it's a two and one now. Oh my God. Okay, so yeah. And that's what, 15 more? So 87? <laughs> Part of me really just wants to, to backtrack and make some more stuff to level up. I actually kind of think that might be a, not a bad idea instead of going forward, but I already rolled for that room, huh? Didn't I? All right. Well, there's another monster room here, All right? So uh, five, huh? So one, two, three, four, five, but it's only 30, so it's not quite... Uh, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's two, uh, there can't be two exits, so we can only do the one. Oh, man. Well, here we are. Let's go find the large room table. This is super exciting. Okay, uh, large rooms level three. Don't kill me. I only have 20 hit points, man. What did I ever do to you? What did I roll, a six? Bam, six, the preserving room. All right, P-I-E-S-E-R-V-I-N-G, room, preserving room. This is, I can't see it, preserving room. Not unique with wooden door, I love it. I love, oh, you know what, they were not, uh, this is only locked on a six. This is, these are wooden doors, not reinforced doors. Okay, my bad. All right, uh, so I'm going to do that for that one too. So I remember it has a symbol. Uh, cur oh, no. Okay, curtains separate this room into a number of spaces. Behind one is a metal table. On it lies two bodies. Whoops, their eyes flick open, face two zombies. Not three. Two zombies. And if you survive, roll on P-O-T-4. Okay, I spent the whole adventure trying to get like a, a, a way to melt the bars off of that place. What is that in the corner? What is that? I have absolutely no idea what I'm looking at here. Okay. I feel like I'm losing my mind here. Is there a... Oh, it's the end of the pen. <laughs> All right, so here we are. I got to find zombies now. So chances are... 12 hit points apiece. Okay, interrupt on secondary ones, twos, and sixes. So now, of course, my good hit is less good, and now they're both minus one. Although, on the upside, oh my god, they do two D or they do a D6 plus two. Um, on the upside, they have, uh, they have uh, armor, that or my armor is minus one. So they're a D6 plus one on damage, because if they hit, it's that four. So, wow. Wow, I'm gonna get wrecked, aren't I? Okay, so here goes. So we have we have two different zombies. We have 12 and 12 hit points. Whew. Okay, all right, here we go. Uh, we're gonna have to do this the way the book actually mentions it as well. Uh, when you kill one, you level up mid-combat and gain your HP because I'm going to die otherwise. So we're gonna have to go by the book on this one here. So, uh, oh, and then treasure is BST1 twice. <sighs> they need a four, three, lifeless corpse on secondary ones, twos, and sixes. Ones, twos, and sixes. So I'm at minus one either way. So no matter what, I'm doing a minus one here. All right, let's hit these. Let's let's roll. Let's let's kill some zombies. I am going to do absolutely nothing on my first roll. I cannot believe it. I'm, I'm too square in the middle on that here. Okay, so then they, well, the first one is going to do, oh my god. The first one rolls a six, six. Wouldn't you know it? The creature stumbles and throws its weight at you, knocking you aside. Minus two HP, so... Okay, I mean, you know what? That was probably better uh, than rolling dice. Uh, so the second one is going to do a four... They have to have a four, three, and they have one shift point, so naturally he lands it. So it's a D6 all, uh, plus two, but minus one because of my jerkin, so it's a D6 plus one. So two damage, that was the best I could have hoped for. So I'm down to 16 HP already. Now the only good news here is that we still have one healing potion that can take us all the way up. Oh my word. Okay, here we go. One zombie needs to die. All right, I've got a one. So at best I can roll that to a, cl oh no, that's a five. Oh no, okay, so sharp slash. Well, either way for me, it's a D6 minus one. I can make that a sharp slash. We're gonna do one zombie is gonna take, ooh, that's a six. So we're gonna do five damage to one of you guys. Boom. Now they get two rolls. Let's see, and they need that four, three with one shift. Oh, come on, roll far away. There we go, they can't make it, they can't make it. Okay, so that's one of them. 
two of them. Oh, that's far away, too. He can't make it already. Because he only has one shift. Yeah, yeah. All right, so here it goes. Here's, here was my shot. It's over for me now. <laughs> uh, okay, round three. I got a one, two. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, absolutely nothing. I need one more shift point. I cannot believe it. So the zombie gets to attack one. And yeah, they're too far off as well. They're, they're, they, they need a four, three. So these slow moving, shambling zombies. Uh, and then, a, oh, a three, four. Oh, wow. You need one more shift point to fix that one, pal. Okay, so they missed. All right, so round four. Here's my shot to take hopefully a good hit in a good chunk out of zombie number one four and five i only have three shift points this is god awful um it's just enough though i think right because this is one shift point and this is two shift points meaning three shift points and i have round four so i've got a d6 minus one on the first zombie i'm gonna focus on one at a time here wow that's amazing zero damage for me once again this time, the zombie rolls a 1-6. Yeah, you can't get anything. All right, the second one. Ooh, a 5-5. Five, five. You're just off by one point there, zombie person. Okay, so number five. Round five. Let's go. One and three, huh? So I can make that a cleave, which again is a D6 minus one. So I did five damage this time, so we'll bring this guy down to two. Uh, but now they get to attack back. A 1-2. Oh, that's really far away for them, right? And they have two three shift points. Yeah, they can they can get the 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 Yeah, they can get close, but not no cigar for one second zombie. Uh oh wow, what is that? That's uh what do they have? They have three shift points. That might be doable. Yes, it is. So a clawed hand is a d6 plus one damage coming at me. Two damage. That was that was a good roll. All right, 14 HP left. Come on, Eduardo. Let's see it happen here. Round six. Full maximum shift at hand here. I've got to be able to do two damage to that guy. Come on. We've got a... A 1-4. So I can, again, make that a cleave, which is... A D6 minus one. So I have to roll a three. Oh my god, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do zero damage again. Of course I am. All right. So they got a 4-1. And they have, what, three, sh four shift points now. So now I've got to really do some, some math work here. Uh, yeah, so that's a D6 plus one. So they're going to do, oh my god, seven damage. I could die here. So now I'm at seven HP all of a sudden. Uh, and the second one gets to go. And rolls a 4-4. Four, which is good enough, so they can do a, do a d6 plus one. If they roll a six, I die. Whew. So that's two damage, so I'm at five HP. Wow. Well, I think we know how we're going to spend our round. <laughs> uh, we're going to drink that extra healing potion for plus 30 HP. Uh, taking us, it won't give us 35, but it'll give us 30. I was really hoping to do that after I killed one to get the little extra HP, you know, out of it. So again, we're going to go with the first zombie attacks me. They have a 5-3, so they can easily do, again, a D6 plus 1. It's a D6 plus 2, but again, my jerkin is minus 1 damage on primary 4s. So they did 2 damage. Okay. And then the second one. I can't believe this. The second one. Ooh, wow. That's That seems out of the way for them, yeah? Uh, but I think they've got it because, again, they have four shift points, right? So they can shift this down for two and this down for two. Oh, they just barely make it. Another D6 plus one damage coming my way. Four more damage. Oh, my God. Okay, we're down to 22 HP. My turn. I've got to be able to finish off this guy now. Come on. Of course, that's what I said last round. We see how well that worked out. There's that one and a six. I'm so, so famous for rolling. There's another cleave. That's a D6 minus one. Good God. Okay, so we killed a zombie. Now, we have to stop because this is ridiculous. Okay, so six. So I have 20, uh, 20, 24 hit points right now, right? So let's put 34 because I gain 10 when I level up. I now have a base of 40. I am level four. I now need 2,000, I think it is, to level up, 
right? Because we had, we just killed one, so right, what was that? Let me make sure I got this right. 987 plus 38 is 1,025. That's almost a really good number. 1024, I'm very fond of. 1025, okay, so here we go. So what else do we change? Now we're gonna have to just like figure this out because this just got, just, just, this just got real. <laughs> Uh, so we are skillful, level two, uh, or level four, uh, number and max level of maneuvers is two. <sighs> number and max level. So I can change out a single one. So now I'm plus two, plus two, plus two on all that stuff. So the precision goes to plus two, whatever good that is. I think I've only used that when I've done the, uh, that one like weird roll thing, uh, for like the portcullis, I think maybe. I don't remember. Okay. So now we have to go here. And we're going to do this in the straight up middle of combat with this guy. Okay, so we killed that guy, so they have to roll against me still. So let's not let's not forget that. Let's, let's just get that out of the way, and I'll pick my maneuver. Because it won't affect my damage any. So they're going to roll a 4-6, so they can easily get to clawed hand. So now comes a d6 plus 1 damage. Uh, so they're going to do 6 damage. Oh my god, so I'm at 28. Okay, 28 HP. Okay, so now it'll be my turn at the top of the round. I just wanted to make sure I didn't forget my place. Uh, it's easy for me to do. So now I can take a look at level 2 maneuvers. Now look at this. Look at that flying cleft, D6 plus 6. So look at, there is a massive difference here. Maybe I just picked really bad skills because like incisive heft is pretty amazing. Okay, um, what do we want? What do we want? A, what do we want? B, what do, what do we want to get rid of? Now... I think Sheer would be pretty good. Sheer and Hue. I don't feel like I roll doubles very often, but Sheer getting to a three and four is kind of sweet. So let's get rid of Cleave, perhaps? Cleave is, Cleave is, it's easier to hit Sharp Slash than Cleave, right? So maybe we get rid of, well, no, it's not. It's easier to hit Sharp Slash, uh, yeah, than Cleave. No. Cleave than Sharp Slash. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's minus one though. Well, for now, let's get rid of, uh, let's get rid of cleave. Let's just get rid of cleave. And then what were we going to take? I don't want the four, four. I want the three, five shear. Let's just try that shear three, five. Let's, let's, let's see what that does for us. Shear is a D six plus four. That's what we need to fight these guys. Okay. So now that we know that we're going to roll it right now. And we're going to roll a 6-6, six, six, so we can do a shear, which is then going to add five more damage. <laughs> that's, that's what's going to happen. Because we need to kill this zombie before it kills us, right? Okay, before it kills us. So we, Well, there's one of the sixes. Ah, there's a one. Of course it is, right? Uh, the good news is, right, so see, automatically, like already, I can roll this uh, for two points and this for one point. So that's only three shift points. I have five. So I can pull off a shear, which is a D6... Oh, this changes, right? Lifeless course on secondary ones, twos, and sixes. So now it's just a straight up D6 plus four, right? Yeah, yeah. What do we got here? So we're gonna see nine damage, bringing it down to three. Oh man, what a difference. Okay, so now they get to roll and hit me. So we really need another level now, right? Because if we can get another level, let me let me, let me me look at this here first. Can they get there? Uh, the three is secondary. They absolutely get to roll a d6 plus one against me. I gotta figure out this armor thing. Uh, four. So I just took five damage. I'm down to 23 hit points. Oh, man. I have not played well. I'll tell you that. I mean, we've got, we've got to the third floor, but that's, that's, and that's awesome. This has been quite the adventure. But if we die, you start over and do it again and make better decisions. All right, what do we got here? I've got a 6-5. Yeah, and see, this is why I wanted something like this, because look at that. Boom, now I can roll that down with three of my shift points. I have five at the moment. Uh, so again, it's a D6 plus four. I feel like I'm like super OP now. Rawr! Seven damage. <laughs> okay. I'm not, though. Like, we're barely hanging on against these guys. All right, holy smokes. Okay. I'm like... Super nervous. Now we get to roll on BST2. We got 1025 plus 38. We have 1063. Now, one more thing that we're going to do for experience. One more thing that we're going to do while I'm thinking about it. We may as well do it now. 10. Well, I can do this way. Now. Oh, no, we're level four now. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Oh, do I even have any more? I do. Here goes our last little heal before I loot these bodies. 
or whatever I'm going to do in this room. Uh, oh yeah, I got to loot their bodies and check the potions. That could be exciting. So we're going to gain 20 experience. So 83, 10, 83, and we have 33 HP now, but we're out of healing potions. Okay. So what's exciting about this is that we get to roll on POT4 because we killed two zombies <laughs> in the uh, preserving room here. Okay, but it's BST1 for our loot, so I have to go find the loot tables. BST1, that's random. Okay, body search table. Let's see what we've got here. We got uh, body search table, we got two of those, and there's no modifier, so we're just gonna do one first. That's gonna give us the, uh, the eight. Strapped to the creature's back is a throwing ax plus three. I thank you very much. Throwing axe. I have. So I get a. Oh, that's awesome. And what do they do? A d6 damage? I can't remember. Uh, and then the second one. I hope they're twinsies. Seven. Real close. <laughs> uh, there is a golden chain around the corpse's neck. It is worth 3d6 plus 10. So 11. 21 gold, it's a 21. Now we're getting into it. Gold chain, can I wear it? Gold chain, we have a gold chain, a gold dagger. We have found the mother load, right? This is the Pharaoh's crypt right here, right? We This is, this is all the good stuff, everything is gold. Okay, great. Now, on top of that, we have to do a POT4 roll, and I believe that's like on the regular table. I'm POT4, it's on the random, List tables section, P-O-T-4. I don't know what further healing, healing is. Oh, it's only one, one die. Uh, but I, I definitely need it. I definitely need a further healing. Let's roll low. And this is where, you know, I probably roll like a six or something ridiculous. So here's a five. So whatever a potion of domination is. Okay. Domination. Okay, so let's see what this does here. So we have a P-O-T-4. We've done that now. Potion of Domination. I have absolutely no idea what that is. So let's see. Domination. Plus two discipline for one level, right? So plus two dis for one floor. I don't know why I write floor there. Okay, so I have a willpower. That's plus one discipline for one dungeon level. Domination is just two. That's just a little better. Uh, and then finesse, which is the other one, right? Plus two shift for one whole combat. I might, I might need to save that bad boy for the boss of this, huh? Holy cow. Okay, like for the bottom of round four, floor four, if we ever get there. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of healing. We are straight up out of healing. Uh, there is nothing else that I can do. So we need to find ourselves some stuff. So let's go check and see if this door is locked. This is, this is deadly. It's not locked. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, this is terrifying. I'm gonna die. Well, it's a giant dead end room too. Okay, so, wow, these crypts are a trip. So this is gonna be five by six. So we'll go three, four, five by three, four, five, six. These giant crypts. And this one's still not a giant room. That's only 30, yeah? Yeah, with no door. So a large room are 32 and above, right? So that's not going to be a large room for us. They are not 32 squares. I'm probably doing some like basic math super wrong like all the time. <laughs> all right. Uh, one and three, we have a cobweb area. One and three, I don't like the sounds of this. Cobweb area okay cobweb area not unique this space is rough and looks as if there were as if they were going to turn it into a tomb but it is empty there is some shuffling roll a d6 oh god uh i want to roll i want to roll uh oh, i don't want to roll any of these <laughs> i want to roll a four through six because i don't want to fight two giant spiders i'd rather face one giant rat which i've already killed Ah, oh, dang. Okay, we got a three. So we have to face two huge spiders. Two X huge spiders. You know what, though? That makes sense in the uh, in the cobweb room, right? Like, this is, oops, this is the cobweb room, right? So we know that. There we go. Totally cobweb room here. Two uh, giant spiders? Giant, giant, huge spiders. Two of them. All right, let's find out what those guys look like. Huge 
Huge. GH. Huge rat? No. Huge spider. This looks really na Oh my god. No way. This was the thing to fight. Check this guy out. <laughs> 2 HP. No treasure. No interrupt. What in the heck? I've never fought a huge spider before. Where were you on floor one when I was looking to uh, to get uh, get the hang of combat? Uh, so we have two guys with two HP each, huh? Okay, let's do that. Two and two here. Well, I don't know. Maybe this does kind of work. What does that say? Not a giant, but bigger than a normal spider with a tough carapace uh, and enlarged fangs. It will attack if something breaks its web. All right, so two and two. I guess we just attack the first one. I guess it doesn't matter. One again, one six six one. Here we go. Uh, so I only have two shift points, right? I can get a sharp slash out of it. It has no defenses. I'm all over this, so we're just gonna kill one of the two here, right? Oh my god. <sighs> I have the absolute worst luck in rolls. I'll tell you. Okay. So they they have to get a what now? A five four. So they can't get there with a one five. And the second one is a 6-1. You're miles away too, buddy. Okay, so round two. I can't believe this. I can't even kill a spider. Okay, so I have a 3-5. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at one spider is just about to get wrecked because that is an exact sheer. Whoosh. So that's going to do 4, 5, 6, plus a roll worth of damage. I don't even have to roll. So there we go. We killed the first spider. That's amazing. Okay, so now the spider rolls a 3-5. You're still... You only have one shift point, so you can't really do much, you know, at this point, little Spider-Man. Oh, my God. Wait, no. You landed it. A thing point. You did. You did. You're one point because you just need to change this to a 4, and you are money. There it is. Fang puncture. D6 minus 3. Let me tell you how much this roll sucks, Mr. Spider-Man. I made this roll all last fight and almost died. Yeah, see? I told you. All right, next round. My turn. Let's just let's just shear this spider and be done with him. Whoa, bam! Although you know what? Now that I think about, it, I can still. Well, I guess I'm not taking a whole lot of damage. Okay, uh, I still can though. Four, six, right? And see, I can make this a shear as well and do four plus one damage is going to do five. So here we go. Boom! We killed the huge spider and we've gained ourselves a whopping four experience points. And you know what? I'm going to take every experience point I can get because now we are a. Super long ways away from 2,000 there. Okay, so that sucked. That room was absolute garbage. Cobweb area. There was nothing else there. We killed the two stupid huge spiders. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so, <laughs> so let's come over here. What do we have in this room? I can't, oh, we need to find some healing. I thought for sure we were going to get some healing there. Uh, a one. The door is not locked. Okay, I like it. I like it. Let's find out what we've got. I love how different every dungeon I have created has been. They have all felt wildly different. Ooh, two doors out of this one. Okay, so two, four, and two doors. Uh, so the four is tall, right? So, I mean, let's do this. And two, yeah, I don't think we're going to get two doors out of here because it's only going to be this. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen, buddy. So that's, I mean, that's the best we can do is four tall, yeah, by two. It's kind of a small room at eight there. All right, so here, not, but it's not a small room, right? Let's keep that in mind. I got to be careful about the words I choose here. All right. Da, 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 da. One, two, a gated tomb. It is not a unique room. Gated tomb. I wish I was an artist. It is very difficult uh, to be an artist, and I am not one, which is a real shame. I'm not even, like... I just, I, I just wish I could draw fancy looking maps. It'd be awesome. One, two, gated tomb. In the center of this room is an iron gate and a fence. Within is a smart looking stone tomb. The gate is locked. It's a lock minus one. Okay, so I don't know how to denote this here. So the lock, it's a lock. Let's, let's just see. Locked gate. Locked gate minus one, right? Uh, get uh, okay, so let's roll for the lock just so I can put it on the sheet here so I, I can stop fooling around. Minus one. So it's it's a lock of, not that I have any things, of six. A level six lock. With a, with a, with a, with a two, with a, there we go, there we go. And then we got to roll on what now? 
Uh, what did I roll? One, two, gated two. Set into the side of the tomb is a hatch. Roll S E C T one. S E C T one. Okay. Well, I don't have a way to get in there, but I would love to get in there. Oh, what kind of doors are out of here? Gated tomb. Random. It's the first time we've seen one of those. Right. Oh, you know what? And they're different now. Right. It's on exit here. It's a different random kind of door. Something six, huh? One six portcullises. Oh, my word. Okay, well, there's only one. And we've learned, well, I've learned, because I learned yesterday that, that there's a portcullis chart I then have to roll on when you do find a locked portcullis. And that is a locked portcullis. And there's a chart, which is P-O-L-T-1 that we have to roll on to see what the deal is. Is there a lever in here? I just don't see. Two, one, uh, three. Uh, there's a lever, but when you pull it down, it splinters in your hand before you can open the portcullis. It is useless. So, uh, see that? That kind of sounds to me like it's, you know, the, the wood lever broke, but the, but the, but the, the function is still there, right? Um, that I could probably dig out all the, the, the wood and, and stick a forged blade in there, and now I've got a thing. Because, again, we, I never established how large those forged blades are, and I don't know if they're butter knife size, dagger, uh, short sword. What, what, are these, what are these forged blades I have? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling they're kind of small, but I would only need a small little thing to go in here and do that. Let's, put, let's just put like a little eh, broken lever. I'll never remember what that is. <laughs> a little broken lever in there. Maybe we think about that at some point. Uh, we can also opt to wait, right? So that is an option as well. We can, oh, in fact, that actually might be the smartest thing ever. We would have to get into a combat, but we could eat a ration. We could just like camp out for a minute and eat a ration, and that would heal us eight hit points, which would bring us to 40. Uh, but then we'd have to roll on the patrol table. Maybe that's not the end of the world. Maybe that's not a terrible idea. We're, we're going to put a pin in that. And we're going to go up here. We're going to come around here and see what's going on. I can't. I, this was a. This was just a bunch of dead, dead bodies, ghosts, zombies. This is horrible. We're going somewhere else. We're going to go find the loot. Uh, what do we got? We got a 661. Well, that's a giant room I can't draw here. Uh, well, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Huh? All right, so we can go. Uh, we can go one two, three, four, five, six. How many doors? There's only one way out of here. Uh, and then six up, three, four, five, six. So it's gonna go all the way up to right here, huh? Well, I like the idea of putting a door right here. Okay, there we go. And that's a 36, oh, another large room. This is, this is so weird. Okay, large, large rooms. Let's see what we got here. Probably something awful. We haven't seen a grand hall or a church. Just at a, at a quick scan, nowhere there do I see roll on POT whatever for uh, uh, healing potions, which I really need. I might have to come back here and search for a way out of here. Uh, eight. The columbari. I've never heard of this word in my life. C O L U M columbarium. Columbarium. I have, I have no idea what that is. Uh, reinforced doors. So that's the five and the six one for realsies this time. Uh, let's see. Several coffin-shaped compartments are set into the wall here. There is a banging coming from one. If you open it, roll on L3. Undead is what that must be. If I survive, roll on CT3. So, oh, man. Uh... <laughs> what do we do? I am terrified of, of opening that. I don't know what the undead stuff looks like in here, but I feel like it's going to be a level three creature. I kind of don't... Oh, man, I just need to loot some stuff, and we're just not getting it. Um, I'm curious. I just have to take a peek here. We have to see... I mean, what is... Oh, yeah, so, yeah, see, no matter what it is now, now I don't know what any of these things are, and I want to live to see another day. So we didn't do this yet, right? So we're just gonna, again, we're just gonna put a, we'll, we, we can come back and visit that. You know what, that body is safe <laughs> in, the, in the hole. Let's see if this door is locked. All right. Uh, oh my God, <laughs> it is. 
Okay, so we're 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 wow. All right then. So this is uh, this is a locked door, and I'm running out of out of ways to get out here. So let's just check the lock strength. Not that I can pick it, but I just want to have a number there so I don't forget it later. Oh oh dear me, this is a lock of s eleven. So we're not picking any locks today, are we? No, we are not. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? I'm terrified. I am really scared of this place. Um. All right. Well, let's let's carry on. Let's 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 see what's over here. We've got a portcullis we can't open. Perhaps this. We need to find some stuff. We've got an urn. I was too afraid to check on. Like, what do we think if we go to the urn? We go back to the urn space, which was what a five on a small room. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see what that was again. An urn space. Roll on L three P. That must be the patrols, right? Yeah, level three patrol. Well. I mean, what are we going to find in an urn anyway? Is it going to be a potion? No. Maybe some dried up old leaves? Perhaps. Maybe. I. All I know is that we are in trouble. Like, this is this is getting really bad. So let's, let's just see what else we can find here because maybe... I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. I am in... I am in... A, I am in... A situation, as they say. Uh, so four and three, huh? so we'll do three, one, two, three, four. So this is what it looks like. Two doors out of here. Okay, so we're going to put one up this way. And one maybe right here. Um, I'm terrified. I don't know about you. All right, so now we need a uh, level three room that is how big? Twelve. Uh... A regular little room here. Let's just see. Level three rooms. We've got ourselves a one four, a water shrine. Okay, water shrine. Watch we'll us have to fight like a water elemental that just smokes us in here. There is a basin with a decorative spout shaped like a god. Roll on G O T one. It is full of water. G O T one. I thought that was on the random. Table. Oh, it's on the random list of tables. Okay, so what god? Water shrine. In fact, I don't like the way I wrote that now. Water shrine. Water shrine. To what god? Number two, Internic the Merc. Water shrine. To I N T U N E R I C the Merc. Okay, I'm going to put a little checkbox here in case we need it. All right. Okay. Well, what else? What else do we find in there? I mean, is it just is it just that where we can do a uh, sacrifice here? Uh, yeah, you can make an offering to a god here and gain one FP if correctly. Then I A U T two. Okay. I A U T two. All right. So so we got to check our gods list here. The Merc, Ink, Coal, Black Beetles. Oh, I don't think I have any of this, and my Garnet is back at town. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Ink coal. No, nope, we don't have it. We have some bandages. I should probably read up on how bandages work. I feel like I, I'm, I'm missing out on bandages here because we have two of those. I don't have any of this stuff. Bandages, dried meat, some leather cords. We need ink, coal, black beetles. Did we find ink or coal anywhere that I recall? Have I seen that anywhere? And, and I love that. Like, it's, I could write meticulous notes and remember all this stuff, and I just, I don't. Because you know what? I'm trying to not die. I'm too afraid to look around and make a mental note of every single thing that I run across in this in this dang place. Okay, so I guess we can't, oh, you know what? I don't know what uh, water shrine, random doors. It is a unique room as well. So we have to roll on the doors chart to figure out if we are, <laughs> are we trapped? Uh, so the doors... This is intense, man. All right, the doors are, what happened? I've got a four. No, a one three. A one three are metal doors. So I don't think I've ever seen a metal door. They're just like colored in. Maybe I saw them one time, I don't know. So metal doors, what are those closed on? They are locked on fours through sixes. So four. Fours through sixes, they are locked. Well, all we can do is try. Let's see if this door is locked. It is not locked. Uh, 
Oh, another weird dead end of a, of a, of a rather large room. Again, it's 30, but not... Uh, let's see here. So let's see. Let's go all the way down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another dead end. Three, four, five. Oh, wow. And it's actually going to fit here. Look at this. There's the room. No exit. But it's just like a regular size room still, even though it's 30. So that's... That's a bummer. We don't get another ginormous room. Let's see what we got, though. Those Well, I don't know. Those giant rooms scare me. I need something that I can loot, like, 37 potions from. Oh, wow. Okay, a 2-1. A recessed chamber. 2-1. Recessed chamber. All right. Well, in this recessed chamber... In an alcove, there's a statue of a young woman, hands raised and roots wrapping her form. You can make an offering to... Oh! Uh, so, uh, I don't know how to draw a young woman with... I, I don't know... <laughs> I don't know how to draw poison ivy here. Uh, let's see. Wrapped in roots. I don't know. We'll, we'll draw some roots. This is cool. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, there we go. Oh, you can't see my beautiful artwork. Uh, offering to, let's see, this is R-A-D, oh my word, A-C-I-N-A, -A for one FP, then roll on I-A-U-T-2. Okay, offering, okay, so, offering two. Okay, so what do we got here? What, what, what's, 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 do we have to go back to town, grab our garnet out of our stash, come out here, see if I can buy something, maybe heal up, because this is... This is fag fabulous. This is fantastic. I, I was trying to combine fabulous and fantastic, right? Because this is exactly the kind of tension that, that you need. And I'm only on the third floor. Somehow there's ten of these, so I don't know what to say about that. Let's see what R R R R Radish, I don't know, Radisha, I'm, that's what I'm calling her. What, what do we got here? We have Radicina the Radix. Seeds, roots, oh, we ate our mushrooms, didn't we? Dang it, I had a bunch of, I had th more than one, and I just kind of put all three in that one ration. I probably, that's probably not how that works. Uh, pearls, acorns, vegetables, mushrooms, roots, and seeds. I have dried meat and some teeth. <laughs> okay, well. I got to remember that I should have been, been taking some, I feel like, again, I found some things, and I'm like, ah. This is garbage. Like, what was in that urn? I don't remember now. Uh, okay, right? Or did I, I didn't check the urn. Well, maybe there's seeds in the urn. All right. Ah, uh, we're doing it. Let's go back and check. Like, this, this, place is, this place is wrecking me. So, again, urn space. If you search it, roll on URL1 minus 2 and then... Ah, oh, patrol. Okay, so where's... So it's U... I don't have, like, the space for this here. URL, URL... One minus two, and then an L3P. Okay, I already have a little box. Okay, so yeah, that's it, right? URL one minus two. Let's go find that. This is insanity. URL one, earn loot table, minus two? S five? There's a half... <laughs> Garbage. A half copper pendant worth a D6SC here. Okay, so we've got four. So a four SC half copper pendant. Oh no, what have we done? Okay, well maybe whoever comes to us. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mark the little checks here, the little check there, whatever. We're done, we're done. L3P. We need to find some stuff. We have played poorly, but we have learned a lot in our adventure. Alright, so what do we got here? L3P is a patrol. What do we want? I don't even know. We want probably a six. Look at that. Didn't I say there was a Tomb Raider in here stealing all the stuff in front of me? <laughs> uh, so we got a one, whatever a banished is. So again, I don't know if these are like in some kind of order. Like if a one is going to be easier to fight than a six, right? Like I don't know. Banished. So we have a banished here. So a banished has nine hit points. Scurry away on secondary ones. Okay. Well, this guy's not the end of the world. But, like, it, it seems to me a Tomb Raider might actually have some equipment that I could rob then from the Tomb Raider, right? I could, I could rob the Tomb Raider. 
Okay, so here's what we've got. We've got a nine hit point. Oh, this is a D8. Here's a nine hit point. Boom. Oh, yeah. Uh, what does this say? Banished from the domain level to the crypt levels for heinous crimes, these tortured beings are renowned grisly cannibals, desperate but unable to escape the domain of the dead. Nine hit points, huh? Okay, all right, well... Yeah, it doesn't look right because the camera is... Like, the center of the camera is actually here, right? Like, right here. It's not It's not as lined up as you'd think. Uh, but I, I can see that that's a nine. Okay, banished... What do you have for root? B loot. BST minus one. What is that? I can't. Body search table. I'm not going to find anything good on you. Okay, so I have a two one. I can make a sharp slash out of that. Okay. Two one. Sharp slash. That's, uh, do you have any kind of armor? Secondary ones? What? Ones, fours, fives, and sixes? It just happens to be the thing that I have? So it's a D6 minus one? Yikes. Well, I still hit you for five. So we're gonna drop you down to four HP. I like it. All right. Wow, okay. What does this guy need, a four one? I feel like you're not gonna get that, pal. Nope, okay. Round two. This has been a blast. All right, round two. I need to, f I need to kill. Booyah. So I can, I can do at minimum four, five, Six, seven damage minimum if I if I roll a one, okay? So this guy's dead because that's a shear, which is plus four, uh, which is going to add my two shift points. That's plus six. And if I roll a one, that's seven damage. So we killed this guy. Okay, wow. BST, my... Oh, we got 34 experience as well. All right, I like it. That's, I, I want to make sure I'm making no mistakes here. Plus 34. That's 1121, okay. 1121. All right. So now, BST minus one. That's going to be on like the random loot stuff. BST minus one. Body. Oh, no, minus two. I'm sorry. BST one minus two. So minus two, we have. Oh, God. Three. The body bursts into flames, destroying any loot. There is dark magic here. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, my God. What is happening? Okay. Well, that was a bust. What happened? Does anybody remember? Like, you can answer me. What happened? It was a small room, number four. What is that? A four on a small room. The stone shelf. There's a stone shelf. On it are the remains, a bunch of red candles, right? There's nothing I can do with red candles, right? No, 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 no. Wow, okay, so this is interesting. All right, well, let's let's travel back over here and see if this door is locked now. Look how few rooms are in this dungeon. This is insane. This is the crypt, my man. All right, two. Okay, so that is not locked. We have a big metal door here. Why did they keep this separated with giant metal doors? What secrets do they know? What do they know? I want to find out what's in here, and I will get to the bottom of this. 2 by 3, huh? Well, 2 by... with two rooms on it, or two uh, two doors. So let's put one door here and one door... Uh, yeah, that's gonna do the thing. That'll do the trick right there. Okay, that was a 6, so that's a small room again. Hey, look at that, I'm already on that table. Alright, so, uh, oh, we know that the rooms are always archways, I mean the uh, the doors, so that's that's good for me because I have some kind of weird door phobia thing in my uh my rpgs uh and then have i ever told this story before it's the reason why i don't like zombies like okay so i have zombie side black plague and a bunch of expansion stuff for it i didn't do the kickstarter I, that was way before my time in board games and it's it's the way i describe it is like it's the worst it's the best of, of like the worst games that i own like 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 it's the worst game i own but it's 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 the line anything worse than that i, I don't i, I don't want to own right and it, i hate it because one day i sat there and used like 14 actions to try to open a door and i was so angry i like table flipped and quit all right eight 
stone slabs. Oh no, one of the exits here, if any, is blocked by a stone slab. Randomly establish which one, and it is a unique room. What is this, what I roll? An eight? I rolled an eight? So stone slab. I've never seen a stone slab either. Okay, so we have to random it, right? So it's gonna be um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So what's a stone slab look like, man? Okay, so here we go. So whatever's back over here now, I feel like this could be some 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 serious loot, right? Oh, it's, there's like a line through it. Because now, what are they protecting back here, right? So I, I honestly have no idea how a stone slab works. Like I know I read it in the book when I read through it, but I never I never encountered one. Mm, let's take a look. Let's see if we can find stone slabs in the book. Here it is. From level three onwards, you might encounter stone slabs designed to block doorways rather than serve as doors. Stone slabs have no lock, so they cannot be opened with lock picks. In fact, they don't open like doors at all, but may be precariously balanced. Roll a d6 and add your discipline. Oh. Roll a d6 and add your discipline. On a six or more, you are able to tip the slab over and clear the way forward. These stones can also be destroyed with one hit from a powerful magical scroll, which I don't have. You cannot wait for patrols to open stone slabs. So basically, I have to roll. I get one shot at this, or it's too heavy for me. Roll a d6, add your discipline on a six or higher. My discipline is two, so I have to roll a six or... So I need a four, five, or six... I am not moving that a, a an inch. This is this is uh, this is locked down right here. This is too heavy. Okay, I cannot. I can't. I can never find out what is over here. That's insane. Okay, so let's let's go this way. I mean, <laughs> here we are. We got a. Oh my god, another ginormous room. This is, this is wild. Okay, so let's go, what is this? This is six. So how far are we from here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I if I start it here, I can go three, four, five, six. Not quite what I want though. Five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. No, I'm stupid. I can't count. There we go. Okay, well, we've established that I can't count. Okay, so <laughs> right here. Uh, oh, I did kill him though. Okay. So what did I roll now? Oh, one exit out of this room, huh? Let's, uh, where do we put that exit? Do we go up? Do we go up? Do, 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 do. Let's go right here. There's our one exit, and this is a 30. So again, not a large, large, uh, large room. It's just a, uh, a big, a big boy that is just a normal room. Let's see what, what we've got here. Look at the dice. Okay. Interesting. 6-1 this time. I've been rolling on like this page, I think, the whole time for these rooms, right? 1-3... How many normal rooms have I had in here? This one was gigantic, right? 3-4-5. Oh, that shouldn't have been a preserving room. Wait a minute. Did I mess up? I did. I messed up. That shouldn't have been a preserving room. This one wasn't as big as I thought. If I only rolled a 5-6, it shouldn't have been a large room. Oh, I messed up. Well... I almost died from a room I couldn't I couldn't do. Let's 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 pretend. Let's fudge it. There was a secret <laughs> area back there. <laughs> Whoops. Uh there it is. Now it's a 36, so it's still legit. Yeah, I made that mistake. Did I do the same thing here? Three, six, three, six. That's 36. Three, six, three, four, five. No, that one was right. Now that's just me being dumb up here in the preserving room. Whoops. What can you do? It's too late now. Okay. So again, this is not one of those, right? So I already roll, I don't even remember now, seven? No, six, one, that's what I rolled. Okay, so let's see, a six, one. We have a mass grave. Mass grave, oh my goodness. Okay, the mass grave is not unique with wooden doors, okay. Wooden doors. Stacked here is a grim pile of skeletons that have been dumped in this temporary dirty space. As you approach one of the skeletons, it shakes itself free. You must fight a skeleton warrior. Oh, no.
What am I going to do? I'm going to die. All right, let's find a skeleton warrior. S C S H Skeleton Warrior. Let's see what this bad mamma jamma looks like. Only 10 hit points and 40 experience. What I need is some guy that has like three hit points and 879 experience points. <laughs> what do we think about that? Okay, so oh, round one. Here we go. All right, so this, this guy's got 10 HP. We can do that. We've got a D10 over here somewhere. Right here. Where are you? 10 HP. The skeleton rises up. It's the black eye. Wait, the skeleton rises up. It's the black. Oh, it's the. The skeleton rises up the black eye sockets, empty voids. Maybe there's an extra word there. The animated warrior is held together by dark magic, and their singular purpose is to kill the living. It advances. Well, and anything says warrior in its name, you know it's going to be. Body void on primary threes and fours. So that's both of mine get negative one damage. You suck. Oh, God. Body void on primary threes and fours, and my armor does nothing. Four three for me. What can I do with a four three here? I can do a, I can do a sharp slash. That's, that's, that's a minus one. Yeah, because it's a primary four, so a d6 minus one damage. At least I hit him on the first round. Four two, bringing him down to eight. He is going to roll, and he needs a 2-2 two, two and a 5... What? A 2-2 two, two and a 5-5? Five, five? That seems fairly hard to land. Uh, with one shift point? Yeah, no way. Okay, so you, you, you whiff, my friend. Round two. 6-2, huh? Yeah, I think I'm going to whiff that time. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. The Skeleton Warrior does a 1-3 with one shift point, so... Again, they don't got it. All right, round three. This is a level two enemy. I missed you on the last floor, my friend. Five, two, with only two shift points. I can shift that to a sharp slash at a four, one, with a minus one to the damage. So we're gonna do four damage, bringing you down to four hit points. All right, I just like those better because they, they, just, they just sit well up there. So that's, that's why. All right, so I'm gonna roll for them now, and they are going to get... Something three, not even close, right? Yeah, he needs two, two, five, five. All right, sorry, my friend. All right, so four, round four. Here we go. Let's finish this guy off and just be done with it. Let's get a shear. We've got a... Oh, no, how about a complete whiff by me? Mm-hmm. And they've got a five, one. So now they have two shift points, which they cannot do anything useful with. Uh, wow, this guy can't hit for anything. With only two shift points... He could get to a, a one nothing is gonna do it a three five or a one three that ain't gonna do it either so yeah you're out okay round five here we go I just need one good hit on this guy this guy is not scary uh six two so again I can make that a sharp slash so a d six minus one I do no damage again and then they get to attack me. With a 5-2, now they can do stuff here, right? Because now, can they get that 3 down to a 2? Yeah, they can. Sword Thrust, D6 minus 1. Don't forget, we still have these guys to take a look at. D6 minus 1, right? So they're going to hit me for, of course, 5 points of damage. <laughs> of course they do. 28 hit points. Oh, my God. So I need to, like, go to town, sell all my stuff figure out the rest of this character's life because he's not long for this world here. Uh, I don't think there's a boss here, so maybe that's what we do. Maybe we just try to push to the end. Uh, that's a bummer. I'm so mad I messed up this room up here now. That, that's a real bummer. I rolled a 4-4. Four, four. I can make that a shear, which is my which is my this. So it's plus 4 damage on this. So as long as I roll... Oh, but he's my... So it's plus 3 damage. So as long as I roll a better than a... Even if I roll a 1... There it is. That's three plus three is six damage. Okay, good deal. All right. That is the Skeleton Warrior Toast. 40 experience, so six. Okay, so let's do this now. Let's go to BST1. So this is the body search table. Uh, we killed this guy. Is there anything in this room? I don't think so. Mass grave. Nope, just say Skeleton Warrior. Just says. So BST1. Oh, what a... What a 
Let's see here. BST1 body search table. There's no modifiers on it. It's just a straight up five. There's a snapped off sword blade in the creature's rib cage. You know what though? I mean, I've got I've got metal stuff. I think I think we're okay. I don't think I need that. I think I need to take a bone, right? Because remember, we're in a place with mass graves, and whether or not I take it from the grave or that skeleton that we just murdered, and I go back and I look at these dudes, right? So it wasn't one of these gods. So Merc wants garnet, black feathers, ebony. No, okay. And then what does uh, what does she want? Oh, she's like she's poison ivy. She wants like good stuff. Oh, so nobody wants a bone. Maduva the Rot wants a bone. Okay, but you know what? I'm still taking... Oh, I have bones, don't I? I have luxury bones. I have teeth. I'm going to take a bone. Bones. Bone. Uh, let's let's say it's not a giant, but let's say it's an ulna. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one of the very few bones that I know. We're going to take that. Okay. Is this door locked? This is nuts. I really... Okay. Six. It is. Are you serious, man? Okay, so now we have a problem. This one is locked as well. So our problem now is that we literally cannot go f any farther, right? Because this is locked, this is locked, and this is a portcullis with a broken lever. So let's 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 now what we can do to, to to get around this. The game has a system where you you camp out and wait for a patrol to come by. So. We can do that, but I'm gonna go over here. I'm very curious to see what this is, right? L3UN, right? So let's just take a look, and did I, I didn't screw this room up, right? That was a 36, we're legit on this one. We, we, we cheated up here, apparently. Uh, okay, so the Columbarian room, whatever it is I've never heard of before, is a large room. Let's just take a look again here. Uh, it is number eight. Uh, several coffin-shaped compartments. There's a banging coming from one of you. Open it. Roll on L3UN. Uh, if you survive, roll on CT3. Uh, okay, so here goes. L3UN. L3UN. There it is in the middle. Undead. We are going to fight ourselves. Oh my god, an ash infects. What the heck is that? This is probably like the absolute worst thing I could have probably pulled out. Ash infects. 18 hit points. Look at this bad mamma jamma right here. All right, 130 experience with no treasure. Tough hide on primary threes, fours, and fives. So every attack I do is at minus two. Oh my god. Okay, so the first thing is, first thing is, I need to take a look here at the, remember that we found ourselves an ax, right? I have, I, the only time I've ever thrown anything was a uh, dart that I lost. I don't know what happened to it. So if we take a look at the rule book, and we have this guy here, uh, the page that says all about the throwing items here, 18 hit points. Okay. You can throw one weapon into 60, let's see here. Uh, they may not throw abilities. The primary die matches the creature's primary interrupt stat. Primary interrupt stat. Primary threes, fours, and fives. <laughs> uh, subtract that interrupt modifier from the damage done. So throwing axes do, we have a, we have a, we have a, we have one. A throwing axe plus three, remember? We got that from the zombies I shouldn't have been able to fight. Oh, I'm a cheater. Oh, now I feel bad. Uh, but too bad. We did it. We did the encounter. <laughs> Uh, six damage throwing knives do four damage. So we're gonna do a we're gonna do a d6, and then how do we get rid of it? Uh, adjust the damage done and reflects the weapon's quality. Recovering, you can try to recover it after the fight, but may have it broken or become lost. If the throwing weapon was deflected by an interrupt, it is lost automatically. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I read that far last time. Okay, so let's see here. So well, I think I just okay. So yeah. It, so we're going to do essentially 9 damage minus if the primary die matches the creature's primary. So I want gray to not be a 3, 4, or 5. It's a 2. Okay. So did we just like... Like, I mean, right just like that? And do 9 damage? Like, we just halved this guy's life with, with, a, with a throwing axe I, I shouldn't legally have because I cheated? <laughs> because I got it from a zombie I shouldn't have been able to fight. We're just going to pretend that I rolled bigger there. I don't know what else to do now. We're too far in. Uh, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Okay. So it didn't get deflected amazingly enough, which is which is like just, just insane luck for me. 
uh, recovering. Okay, if the throwing weapon was deflected, it is automatic. If you threw a weapon without being deflected and survived the combat, roll a d6 on a 1 through 3, it's lost. So let's just do that now. Let's just do that now, and, s and just so I can erase it or keep it. That's a heavy item. Throwing axes are considered to be a heavy item. So I rolled, oh, that's bad. It is lost. So I got, okay, well, you know what? I don't feel as bad because we cheated to get it, apparently. We shouldn't have been able to loot those zombies because they didn't exist. Okay, so now we're back to the fight, but he only has half of his life. I stuck him, I cleaved, you can see the cleave mark in his dome right there, right? <laughs> okay, my first attack. No treasure. So I'm going to roll, I'm just going to roll a 3-5 and get this over with, right? My first roll. Let's see it. Let's just do it. There's the three. Next up is the five. Come on, baby. Oh my god! <laughs> you know what? This fight was meant to be. So that was an exact strike. So I'm going to do four uh, minus one though, right? I can't believe that worked. Uh, so three. So I'm going to do a d6 plus three damage and, and, uh, and see here. So a d6 plus three. So I really need a six. Dang. Uh, so I got a four. So we did, what, seven damage? <laughs> so we're, he's going to have two hit points left. This poor guy. This I don't know what happened to the two. There it is. Okay, this this poor dude on round one. Uh, so watch him wreck me somehow. Uh, one and one, and he misses. <laughs> so round two. Am I going to even roll the thing? Round two. I've got a four. Do a one. Oh, four, five. So I can't do anything with that. Uh, four, five. Yeah, I can. I can do another shear. I can roll this down to a three, five and do another shear, which is again, he's minus, oh, he's minus two damage. Not, not minus one. He's minus two damage. So he actually has one more hit point. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, this guy's a beast. Okay. So I have, I have to do three damage somehow, right? So I'm going to be rolling it. So minus two. So I'm, I'm rolling it this plus two. There we go. We did we did the damage. I can't believe that fight. But no treasure. No treasure. No treasure. No treasure. Oh, but 130 experience. So 291. Let's see. 291. 291. So we have 12, 13, almost 1,300 experience. We're getting better. Okay, so that, that happened. Okay. <laughs> that was a great fight. So CT3 now. Um, all right, CT, yeah, CT3. It didn't say there was a modifier or anything. So let's see what C, chest. Oh my God. The chest contains a sack which you rummage through. Inside is a cheese and some bread. Gain one ration. So now we have seven rations. Okay. So what did it say? Cheese and bread. So, um, so... I mean, the way I'm reading this is that the cheese and bread, are they separate? I think they're separate from the... I can't tell if that's separate from the ration, right? Like, it says a sack, which I rubbish through, a cheese and some bread, and gain a ration? Or, like, the cheese and the bread are the rations, you know? Because if the cheese and the bread are the ration, I happen to have some dried meat I've been packing around for a while, and I can make another ration. So let's just let's just go by the book, I think. I, 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 I think, I don't know. I think maybe there's a whole ration in there and and two other items. I really do. The way I think I'm just re I'm not allowing myself to like be as generous. I mean, unless I'm fudging rolls, obviously here for room sizes uh, <laughs> for the stuff I can pick up. <laughs> All right. So what do we got here now? Man. Okay. So I think we don't really have a choice. We just have to camp, and we'll never find out what's back here unless I had a phasing scroll, which I do not have. I don't have any more lockpicks. I have a metal chain, a dagger palmo. I feel like I could totally replace the handle. That doesn't seem like such a bad idea, does it now? Right? Maybe we don't. Maybe maybe, maybe we have to be a little bit more generous on that portcullis table, right? Like it's gonna, like if I shove my, my, my dagger pommel in there, right? What, what do we roll on that thing? It was broken whatever it was, right? It's number three, right? There's a lever when you pull down, it splinters in your hand before you can open the portcullis. It is useless. <sighs> no, it sounds like I would need to do, I would need tools to disassemble it and get inside because maybe it shattered off and left a piece of it in there, so I'm kind of screwed. Okay, well, if that's the case, let's head, let's stay right where we are. And so I believe that what we have to do now is, is camp, right? Now, like, like, we waste an entire couple of hours waiting for a patrol to come in there. Is there a chart? 
Is there a chart for this? Checks. Fix something, make a loud noise, call for the favor of the gods. Precision checks. Maybe I could make a precision check and repair the thing. It didn't say that I could do that though, right? So what about, huh, I don't have any herbal remedy goodness in here. So let's do this. Let's, um, God, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to go back to town just yet, but we totally could. Uh, or at least we could attempt to. Look at all this like edge we have here and here and here. We, we could make a lot of rolls for an air vent, right, to see if we get out. So there's the possibility that we could sneak off back to town if we need to. Um, I don't know. Let's. I don't think that's the answer. I think that we're gonna. I, I think we're gonna camp out here. Now I cannot, for the life of me, remember where it is in the book. But I'm fairly certain that the whole thing just requires us to. It's just for fun. I want to see this. While exploring the dungeon, you'll find individual foods, which on their own are not enough to make up a full ration. If you find three types of foods, see? Um, if I find a mushroom, see, see, it sounds like I got a ration and I found those things. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, I really want to find out fixing things. Sometimes the situation you find yourself in, see, you could, you could be, it could be a piece of a lever or some damn it, it could be a lever. What do you think I need to fix a broken portcullis lever? Do you think I, do you think I, I, ha I can just shove something in there and, and, and I don't know, maybe it broke off cleaner than I thought, right? Maybe, maybe that happened, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, maybe that happened, right? So using rations between resting on the stairs, I need, I need like a doors thing here. Uh, you cannot wait for patrols. Where, that's what I'm trying to find is like the waiting for patrols thing. It's in here somewhere. Uh, locked door, chests, lock picks, quality. If you fail, has been... Okay. Wait for an enemy to come through the door before you can proceed in that location. You may, of course, use the following path. If you wait, you must face an enemy in combat to roll on the patrol table for the level. Uh, right. And then they, they open the door. Or they either have a key or they smash through it or whatever. Every time you wait for someone to open a door, you must use a ration, but you gain 2 HP per adventure level. Uh, okay. So I think that's what we have to do, right? So we're going we're gonna to burn... A ration. We're going to say that we have six, but we're going to gain eight hit points. So we're at 36. That's okay. We've just been we're just relaxing. You know what? I need some water, and I'm not drinking water that I found in this place. I'll tell you that. I should have got water from upstairs, brought it in some of these empty flasks, right? So we wait, and now we have to roll on the patrol table, right? So that this door, this locked door, becomes open for us assuming we can fight an L3P. I can't believe this. I'm actually finally starting to get to know the, the, the charts. <laughs> I'm finally finally starting to put some of the, the, the things together here. Like, I know now. Okay. Dude, really? Again? A six on a patrol. A Tomb Raider! Oh, somebody... Did, I told you guys there was a Tomb Raider in here. Uh, somebody was in front of me in here. Uh, let's see here. Where are you? As Tomb Raider. Look at that. There is a Tomb Raider in here. She is worth 70 experience points. And look at her loot. Body search table, uh, BT2, and oh, and she had money. Look at that. I need some healing. Okay, so this is super interesting now. So we have to fight a Tomb Raider that has 20 HP. We do not have a, a uh, phantom throwing axe that we can use. Maybe we'll find something good here, though. There's 20 HP. We're just going to use this for her hit points. Okay, low duck on primor primary fire. Fours and fives are minus two damage. A forearm block on... Oh, wow. So my sharp slash is minus two. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So, yeah, that's terrible. That's a minus two. Now, and her attacks are three and one and three and six. So my armor again does no good. There are a few people who dare to venture into the crypts in search of treasure. There are more... Uh, they are more than happy to recover the treasure from those who get in their way. They draw a knife whoosh, and attack. Round one, fight! All right, Tomb Raider lady. Have at thee! I'm not gonna roll that well. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm gonna roll so poorly, I can't do anything. And now, what does she need? A three one, a three six. How about a three three? <laughs> you can't do anything either with your one shift point. Round two, taking it to you. Boom, all right, one, ooh, 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 two one. I can't do anything. Oh, I can make a four one. So we can do a sharp slash. I can make a four one out of that. So that's a minus two, because it's a primary four. Oh yeah. 
So I did two damage. Okay, well, it's it's better than nothing. So she gets to roll against me now. What do we got here? We don't. Huh, how funny! Didn't isn't that what we rolled last time? <laughs> so nada. All right, round three. My shot again. I really need that sheer move. Oh come on! I would need four shift points, so that's not gonna work, right? I can't do anything this time, really. Okay, so I whiffed. The Tomb Raider moves quickly. She rolls a one six. She's she's. Oh, she's a she's one shift shy of a of a grip twist, uh, but she could pull it off next time. But I get to go again. All right, let's see. Man, I need more throwing weapons now that I know how awesome they are. Two five. Okay. Oh, good. <gasps> oh, look at this. Okay, it's sheer time. This is at a d six plus four, and she has none of the interrupts for this, right? Primary fours and fives. Nope, that's a three, and a secondary one and two. It's a five. No, so this is just straight up four plus. Oh yeah, 10 damage, look at that. Wham, finally, finally a good solid hit here. <laughs> All right, so she's gonna attack me for two, one. Can she, she can, she can actually get a cutlass slash. Ooh, ow, this is gonna sting. A D6, I'll live though, that's the important part, right? So I have 32 HP left. Come on, Eduardo, put this Tomb Raider in her place and raid her pockets. What do I need? Here we go. We have eight hit points to get through. We can do this with another shear. Uh-oh. Uh we have a one on our primary and a one we whiffed. I <laughs> can't believe it. Oh, dear. Okay, so now she gets to attack, and she has three shift points now. Ooh, so she can definitely hit me good with that. So she can do... Mm, she can't do the cutlass uh, slash, but the grip twist is a D3, though, so she can land that one. So she's gonna hit me for two damage. Okay, so we're down to 30. Eduardo hanging in there. Uh, round six. <sighs> I would have loved. Okay, so the good news is, is I can absolutely make that a shear, which is gonna be just a straight up D6 plus four. So there's a good chance we can end this now. Whoa, oh, I rolled a five, but that doesn't count. It's my personal rule, if it's not in there, of course. I roll a one when I actually count it. So that's five damage, so she's down to three, so she gets to go again. Five, four, five. So she's gonna have three, four. No, so she can do the grip twist, though. So again, that's a D3. Oh, that's not a D3. Uh, so I'm gonna take three damage. Oh, down to 27. How funny that of all the things I found wandering through the catacombs, was the Tomb Raider. I'll tell you what, I do not have the ima imagination like I had when I was younger to play like like solo RPGs. I'm not sure that's that's for me. I, I even I used to play like like JRPGs a lot, computer games back when I was, you know, and and and, and Western RPGs on, on the computer uh, younger, and I, I I loved it, and I was able to do that for hours and hours and hours. And and then at some point, many years ago now, like ten years ago, maybe even a little bit longer. I didn't like them anymore, and they were just you know way too long and boring. And I just wanted to play like roguelikes. The, the gameplay was so much more fun, and that's the feeling I'm getting out of this, right? Like, I can make up and fill in the little story bits I need, you know, to, to, to explain away some stuff, and this gives me just enough help that I can fit in, like, the little connecting spot to... to it's complete BS, but it works, you know? <laughs> I like it. All right, one and four. That's the opposite of what I need. Although I totally can make this a sheer roll by two and one, so I have five points now. So it's a D6 plus four, so we should be able to end this. I think. There we go. So we just we just did like what eight points of damage. Boom. Okay. Whew. Maybe I should be a little bit less. There is a a game changer when you hit level four, man. That 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 shear is incredible. So we got seventy experience points. So we'll say three six here. Three six. We're we're. I like the small, well, not, like regular sized rooms, it seems like you can farm experience a little bit faster. These big rooms are taking up so much of my map, I'm not able to, to spend the time in the dungeon to get the stuff that I need, right? Like there's just not enough to go around. Okay, so BST2, body search tables. What do we find on you here, Tomb Raider? BST2, we found a four. You rummage through the rags but find nothing. I have the absolute worst luck Looting. I don't know if anybody has noticed that. BT2 plus 2. She has a bag. BT2 plus 2. 
So we're at five, six, seven. A, a, again, a, a mid-roll. At the bottom of the sack is a set of shackles, a metal box containing 2d6 plus 10 SC. So 16 SC in there and uh, some leaves. I'm going to take the leaves. I'll just change that to a 2. And then what did we find? 11 uh, SC, right? So we're up to 70 SC. Wow. Wow. Um, oh, and then she has 2d6 GC according to this. So 2d6 GC. Good. Maybe we'll get some real money here. Eight. Okay. Eight. That's uh, not enough to buy some more of those other things that I need to, to make the healing salves. Okay, so that was fun, but you know what? It opened the door. Let's go check it out. She stole the key off probably one of these corpses that didn't exist. All right. <laughs> so, oh no, it's a dead end. <laughs> oh, what have you. Now, okay, so we have to think about this at some point too. Like, where do we call the 75% of the dungeon? Like, this like doesn't even count. You know, this is some dead space here. This, in my mind, it's just maybe a cave-in hallway or something, right? This could count. This is still an unknown, but none of this can count in here either, right? So I feel like we were, we're I feel like we're getting very close to that 75%. Uh, oh, crud, and this is just a skinny hallway. Oh no, that, that just goes in like a garbage direction too. It's just, it's just, oh, maybe it connects to this thing. Two, three, four, five, yeah, look at that. That's what we found, right there. She must have rigged something up to, to make that thing break, or she weakened it. She opened it, and then it's on a timer to close or something, and she weakened it, and she was sneaking through, and I was just sitting here having my lunch, a ham sandwich or something, and, <laughs> and she came through. I caught her, but it's broken. She had, yeah, okay, all right, well, that sucks. All right, now, now we're in the same boat. We gotta go hang out. We have to go have lunch in the mass grave. So what does that mean for us? That means that we eat another ration. See, now I didn't even buy rations in town because I was like, oh, we have seven, that's funny. Well, we're gonna use at the very minimum three here because there's a good chance this next room should probably be the end of the floor depending on what we find, right? Uh, we've connected every room except for this because this is, I just kind of fudged this one. Uh, so there's that. So we're gonna gain, what, 20 more hit points. So that's gonna max us out. Or not 20, I'm sorry. We were at 27. And we gain eight hit points, right? So that's going to give us 35. I'm sorry, 35. 35. Okay. But now we have to roll on the patrol again. So we're going to we're gonna say that that's open. And we go back to the patrol table. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't want to... Well, I don't know. Maybe there's another Tomb Raider in here. Let's see. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this place is just like everybody's down here burgling, right? Uh, five is a heedless. What is that? Let's find out. Okay. G H. I went too far. Guard dog. Hacks. I don't want anything to do with whatever that thing looked horribly terrifying. Okay, so we got this guy. Heedless. What is this now? 48. Roll on uh, PT2 plus 1. Leather armor on secondary ones, twos, fives, and sixes. Wow, so everything is minus two damage for me. That's terrible. Okay, well, and he does, but okay, heedless are hardy folk who spend time in the crypt levels of the dungeon searching for loved ones or lost treasure, avoiding the undead and sleeping in empty sarcophagi. Oh my word. You know what I really want is a lockpick. That's what I want. All right, well, let's see. Oh, we're on round one. I keep forgetting to change this. Okay, round one. Fight! So this guy is straight up minus two for everything. But Tom Strike is a 5-5. Five, five. He has two shift points, though. Okay, well... Oh, and 13 HP. I should probably... There we go. It's good enough. Get him ready for it. All right, let's see. I got the wrong dice. I'm gonna do a... Oh, I need a five. Come on, hit me. That's good enough. I can do a 3-5 out of that. That's a, a sheer... Um, so it's only going to be a d6 plus 2 because of their leather armor. So there's 8 damage. Not bad. Not bad. So, wow. Down to 5 hit points. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Alright, so he needs a 5-5? Five, five? Am I reading that right? Watch me roll it exactly, right? Uh, ooh, you can't... You, ooh, he's short. One, one shift point. Whew. Okay. That's not good. I got a 1-3. So a 1-3, and I only have two shift points. I can't do anything with that. 
Four, four, two shift. He's got it. A D6 plus one. I can't believe it. Uh, yeah, and I can't do anything. D6 plus one. So he's going to hit me real hard, probably. Nope. Oh, for a one. Look at that. It's two damage here. Okay. So I'm at 33. Well, you know what? We're hanging on. And I'm kind of okay with the idea of exploring and heading up to the town like last. The idea being that we get into the new dungeon in the best possible situation. Because we were not in the best possible situation last time, I'll tell you that, when we came into here. Um, we did use up some, 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 you know, our only two healing potions in all of our leaves. I mean, I guess that, that shouldn't have been such a bad position, but it was. One and five. What on God's green earth am I supposed to do with this? Well, I can make a 3-5 out of it, I guess. There we go. So it's a D6 minus 2. No, plus 2. I'm sorry. Da -da 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 -da. So I did 3 whole damage. So he's down to 2 HP. And he needs a 5-5 five five with... Uh... Well, he can't do it because he's only got 2 shift points. But now... He has 3. Dun -dun -dun. Boom. All right, here we go. Five, three. That's the opposite of what I need. Dang, that is the opposite of what I need, right? Because I needed a three, five. Now the problem here is two and two away, and I only have two, three shift points. Man, getting another shift point is going to be massive if I live that long. If I can live long enough to get to the next level, adventurer level, and get another... Is that how that works? Uh, hold on, let me do the damage. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's do... Uh, I have... Th Three now because we're on round four so I can do a sharp slash so it's a d6 minus two this could still kill him though if I roll well enough five minus two is three he only had two hit points left okay good okay so he's dead that is what 48 experience points all right so let's see what are we at 1361 plus I already forgot what did I say 48 48 we're at 1409 We still need 600. 600 experience. Okay, so now we have a PT2 plus one. PT2, PT, PT2, there you are. I have PT3. PT2, pouch table, two plus one. So we're going to roll nine, ten. So a ten. There are some loose coins. 2d6 gold. Oh, I like this. I like the gold. Come on, roll high for me. We got six gold. Six gold. Now I have enough gold to buy some more of those other things. The Ilios things, right? I can buy like three of those, but then I'm short of the other one, the Malico or whatever. <sighs> and a random gem. Roll a D3. Oh, dude, be a garnet. I need a two. How about a one? MQ Sapphire. MQ Sapphire. Okay, well that's that's too bad because see I wanted the garnet for this dude, right? Or oh, a ruby. A garnet for no the merc. Yeah, buddy. Uh, okay, we still haven't found like anything else useful. Yeah, you know, no fires. I need a fire. I can burn some bones, take the take the coal. I don't know. <laughs> we can find a way to make this work. Uh, then this guy as well had two d6 more gold. So this guy was loaded. This guy was a this guy was a straight up robber. This guy was a thief. So there's four more gold. So that's going to be 10. I'm just going to write 18 right there. So, so far in today's little journey, we found 18 gold. Okay. Uh, so now, now that this door is open, this guy just came whistling through sack of goods over his shoulder. What do we got here? Uh, two ways through this. Oh, it's a little skinny corridor. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. Four, right? So uh, let's do... Let's do this. Let's put one door here. One, two, three, four, and then the exit. So this looks like that. I can dig it. Okay, so somewhere to go. I don't think we're done yet. I think that we're going to go up here. We have a 6-2 two with two ways out of that, huh? Um, hmm. So let's go all the way to the edge, right? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, two, and there's oh, there's two ways out of here. So there's gonna only be one because I I don't think I can put an exit. I can't put an exit here, right? Because it's only one space away from a wall. This is you know, so I don't think I can do that. 
So I think we have only one. Okay, so I think that's what we've got. One exit, what did I say it was? Six, 12, that's the medium chart again. I'm not gonna, not gonna fudge a big room on us today for this one. <laughs> All right, I can't believe that, how stupid. All right, what do we got? We have a, a, this whole, a lot of ones. One, two, a gated tomb. Have we seen that already? We did, oh, we did. See, that's a bummer, man. It's not unique either. That's a bummer, we don't have any uh, stuff. Gated, there's some secrets in here. There are some secrets in here. Gated tomb, all right, smart looking. Gate is locked, okay, so we have again. <laughs> A gated tomb, all right, and then there's it's locked. Draw a little lock, and it's a it's a it's a what now? Minus one. Uh, it's a gated lock minus one. So let's just see what it is here. It's a oh, roll of four, so it's only a three. Like how? I mean, I could almost kick this lock open, right? And then in here is 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 a a like a like a a sarcophagus, right? S-E-C-T-1, right? S-E-C-T-1 that I can't get into. I can't get in there. This is such a bummer. I, I desperately want to find out what these, what, what's in these things. <sighs> and it's a random door out of this place too? Ugh. Man, I can't believe that. All right, let's see. What's our door look like? 2-2. Two, two. I've got some weird rolls today. Wooden doors. Ouch. Wooden doors, okay, so a wooden door is locked on a six. Let's just try to go through that wooden door and see what we find, if it's locked or not. Not locked. So yeah, okay, so we're getting down to it. I don't know what's gonna happen here, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna open the door. Another skinny hallway, it looks like, which is which is a bizarre shape. So it's gonna be, well, it says one exit, too. That's, that's weird. Uh, so if I go one, two, and one, one, two, and one exit. So this is an archway. That's a weird room, but there it is. <laughs> okay, let's go through this and let's just see. Maybe maybe this is a big room that just connects it all. Uh, and it's only got one exit. Five, three, huh? And one exit. So So this time it's three. So let's go up here like this. And we can only be four, we can only do four. So our exit is gonna come down here. Okay, so here's the room that we've made. So this time it's four and four, so 16. So again, we're gonna do a regular room and find out what we have here. Hopefully something all new. I feel like we've seen this, a cold crypt. <laughs> oh no. It's a ghost. Two, two, cold crypt. This is so funny that I've had like the same rooms because you know, that's gonna happen once in a while. If we, f if we survive the ghost, we get to roll on SLT1, SLT1. Okay, so we have to fight a ghost to roll an SLT1. And what is the door? It's a wooden door. Oh man, oh man. I don't wanna fight a ghost again. I am afraid of ghosts, okay? I am terrified. We got absolutely wrecked. Uh, but now, you know what? We do have, uh, what am I looking for? Ghost, EFG, there's ghost. Okay, so you know we do have ghosts, but what we, uh, what we also have is we have sheer. And I feel like we're gonna be in much better shape fighting a ghost now that we have a, like a real ghost level ability, right? I think I think that we're going to be doing better here. Okay, 15 hit points, let's go. All right, so where's the five? Here we go, 15 hit points right here. I don't know if that's a good spot for you guys to see it or not, uh, but it's, it's a lot easier than me stacking them up up here. That just doesn't work very well. Okay, round one. Oh, God, I keep forgetting to change that today. All right, round one versus a ghost. Static fusion on primary twos and threes, of course. So my big hit is a minus two. That stinks. Uh, well, it's it's only only a plus two. And phase arm on secondary sixes, so it's only affecting my good attack. And my armor does nothing against these guys. And I don't have a spectral throwing axe <laughs> to get this guy. All right, let's see it. Two six, I can make a three five very easily. Good deal. So that's, that's gonna be a D six plus two. 
So we're gonna do five damage right away. Whack! All right, so this guy. Oof. That was actually kind of a bad roll, I think. Yeah, they can't do anything with a 6-1. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, now it's my turn. I need to take, oh, what is up now? 6-6, six, six. so we're doing a, a perfect shear. Uh, so their armor and all that still, you know, it counts, right? So it's just it's just two, right? So it's plus two, three, four. So I'm rolling, the, I am doing a, a D6 plus four now. A D6 plus four. So we did seven damage, so it's gonna have three hit points left. Wow, okay. Yeah, see that's a that's a much different fight with that that ability. Okay, what is this gonna spin out to? They have a two two and a ghost needs yeah, I gotta fix that somehow. Two two and a ghost ew, the ghost needs a lot. A two two? Yeah, they I don't think they can do it. Uh they can get to a a three three. A two two? I don't I don't think they can do anything. Okay, so a three. Round three, rather, my turn. We just need one really good hit. One more really good hit. I need this to be a three. Oh, I got the opposite of what I want. That almost seems like that'd be a great skill to have, like an ability. Switching your die, you know, after the fact. <laughs> uh so I did I forget to change the round? I think I forgot to change the round. This should be round four, which is good uh, because that would give me three shift points. So can I do anything with three? I can do a sharp slash. I can make that uh, a four and that that. Okay, so sharp slash, uh, primary is twos and threes, nope. Uh, secondary sixes, nope. So it's just a straight D6. All right, sharp slash, we need to do three damage somehow. <laughs> okay, they get a shot at me now. Five, five, isn't that bang on for them? No, but they can, oh, five, four. Uh, but let's see here. So they wanna try to get to the three, five, which they totally can do with three shift points, but they only need two to do that. So spectral touch is a D6 minus one. That's right, that's what happened fighting this guy. So I took two damage. Is that they kept, they kept being able to roll that no matter what. Okay, so we're still alive. Our turn now, we have four shift points to spend, so I'm feeling good about this roll. One four. I should have. I should have not felt good. Yeah, I can easily make this with two and one, and we have four. Uh, so there's a shear of a plus two damage. So there's four damage to kill the ghost. Much much better. No treasure, but it is eighty five experience points. You know what? I I dig that I found ghosts in here and all this stuff. Eighty five plus. What do I have? Fourteen zero nine gives us. Oh, that one's easy. Fourteen ninety four. 14, oops. Well, we're about halfway, you know, like with, with the thousand points we needed. So we're getting there. Uh, where was I? Ghost, SLT1. Ooh, we get some, we get some stuff. SLT1, let's see. SLT1 sarcophagus loot table. Let's find something good. I got eight. Oh, I don't think I've ever had these before. Let's see here. Eight is lying along the base is an old cloak and stuffed inside are some cathoto spines. So I don't know what those are good for, but I'm totally taking one of those. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that right here. I have one. And then just for fun, uh, cathoto spines. Look at that, one, oh wow, one of five ingredients for a flame jar. What a soothing oil though. Soothing oil, squeezed cathoto spines and crushed I don't know how you squeeze them. Uh, I haven't found like a thigh master down here yet. <laughs> Requires a container that you can hold liquid, or that can hold liquid. Heals all fresh damage caused by fire in the last two rooms you were in. That's really useful, but maybe not for me just this minute. Okay, so um, is that door locked? That's what I want to know. Is there a door here of six? No, it's open. Let's take a look. This is probably going to be the last room. This might be the end of it. It's a dead end, whatever it is. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. So it's gonna be just a straight up dead end right into here. So here's here's what I say. We have clearly handled 75% of this. So I know the exit is gonna be over here. It has to be. Do 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 do. So let's let's go down the hall a little bit more and just just take a look see just just make sure. 
All right, so yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> what is with this? This this full of holes. Look at this, and it, it it's it's that. That is literally what I just found, and so I don't really think that I can do anything else, right? I think that uh, that this is kind of it, right? There's our stairs down. We found them at at this really bizarre, bizarre little dungeon here. This is crazy. Okay, so now we know where it is. We're gonna have to eat a ration to go down to the next floor, but and I think we set ourselves up rather well here for some of this stuff. What I really want to do is I, I need to go searching for a way to get back to town. So if we come in here, we get one, two, three, four, five rolls. I believe that's the right way to do that. It's like per slot, right? So I think, I think that, the, the, yeah, that's how I've been doing it. Um, so I think that that's, that's how, how we're going to do it. Right? Tracking back. Let's see. You cannot go up level. Secret doors. The next level. Using rations. Resting on the stairs. Entrance to the next level. Where is it? Um, I think I've read it. But I just I just wanted to make sure I wasn't doing it wrong. But somewhere in here is like where you have to roll a six along the. I think it's like every edge. Every edge I can roll a six, uh, or I can roll dice. So I can try to find a way to go. Huh. I don't see it now. All right. I mean, it's it's in here. I'm just stupid because I'm not. Uh, not paying such good attention here. Oh, you know, it's probably at the end, right? It's probably at the end down by the, um, uh, when you go up, it's probably, yeah, leaving the dungeon. That There it is. Okay, right. Heading back through the main entrance, not an option. To leave, you must be in a room that abuts the outer boundary of that level, and you must encounter the room before you can begin your search. Roll a d6 for each square. I just want to make sure I wasn't doing that wrong. Adjoining the edge. If you roll a six, you found the one and only air shaft in the whole dang place, right? So, so we have we have a ton of edge room. Oh, no, nothing here except oh, but this though. Oh, look at this room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, let's just let's just roll five dice here to see if we can get a six. Lo and behold, we found the exit. Look at that. We got three sixes. That is definitely where this place gets its ventilation, right? Uh, so using this as a little... Uh, oh, I think it's supposed to be just out here. Oh, that one's not up on the edge. That is not the outer boundary, my friend. So maybe we did that down here. So here is my little exit. It's right here. Okay. Because uh, this room would have had ten rolls. So there we go. Like, there's there's... A trip to town. Now, the good news about the trip to town is that it's going to let us heal for free to 40. I also can go ahead. Let's take a look. Well, I know all of this is like the stuff that takes so long. So maybe what we do now is we take a quick break. I'm going to go ahead and just look at this ahead of time. Figure it all, all ahead of time so that we can we, we don't have to have me sit here and like go through it step by step, right? Uh, and then I'll just have like a sheet of what we do and how we do it. And then we're going to carry on to, to because we're going to pop back in here and we're done. Uh, so unless I can find a way to get us uh, into here and into here to find out some treasure, we're kind of stuck. That's all we've got left. We've, we've, we've got the exit and we've got the air vent. So we're going to go up here. We're going to stay the night, fully heal up. We're going to see what we can buy. We're going to, we're going to test out the market for once. I haven't done any of this before. Um, I just paid for the leaves and came down. Uh, and then uh, got the free god thing. Speaking of which, I'm going to check what's in my stash here, right? Because I have, I have a high quality, oh god, it's a high quality garnet in a silver frame. Doesn't this guy, somebody here wants something. Somebody here wants something, and I need to figure that out, right? A garnet, somebody wanted a garnet, I thought. Maybe not. Let's see, right, she wants, oh, a pearl, nobody wants, oh. Wait, I have a, oh, but I don't have the right god now. <laughs> uh, the merc. Coles, ebony, black, oh, garnet plus two. That was the guy. So I have I have a garnet in a silver frame. Maybe I come down here and put that into the water, right? So I'm going to bring this back with me, okay? Right, so we're, we're, I'm just going to do it now, right? HQ garnet in a silver frame. I'm going to pop it out. Super high quality garnet. Oh, I have a, ooh, no, I have an M MQ. High quality garnet in silver frame. No, no, we'll bring the we'll bring the medium quality one down, right? Medium quality garnet, boom, check you off. That's three, right? For uh, the Merc. One, two, three for Merc. I like it, right? So let's do that. Merc, Merc, Merc. So one, two, three, right? So what else? What else could we do? We have the seeds, roots, mushrooms, vegetables, acorns, and pearl. I have found acorns in this game before, and I don't have any right now. 
Dang, I have some leather. I don't have. Do I? I don't have a pearl. Yeah. Do I have a pearl? Uh, a gold buckle, gold amulet with four gem slots. Oh yeah. Our gems would be great for that. Uh, I have a high quality garnet still. <laughs> uh, in a silver frame, we could pop that out. And then I have, yeah, I really don't have a whole lot. I have a medium quality sapphire. So I don't see a pearl anywhere. So maybe maybe that's the best we can do with the gods. Um, but yeah, let me take a look then, just so that that's wrapped up and done. We're gonna go up the, the air shaft here, rest up for the night. Uh, I'm gonna read ahead about it, even though I read it before, I haven't like actually stepped through it and done it. We had no prisoners. I just want to see what I can do because I'm gonna try to sell some things, I think, and then I'm gonna see how like the shopping stuff works. So I haven't done it before, uh, and and I think we're in a spot where we really need to understand more about how the game actually works outside of the dungeon, since we're going to die. So I'll be back in just a second here with uh, some uh, some town goodness to go over. All right, I don't know what kind of math test this is, but we got through it here. So here's the deal. We have, I took, uh, I'm going to keep, I'm going to hang on to the gems. I think I, I like the idea of just taking that medium quality garnet and putting it down, you know, bringing it down after all this mess in just a minute. Um, I have a sapphire, this gold amulet with four gem slots and a high quality garnet and a silver frame. I'm going to keep those. We're just going to keep those in our stash. Uh, we healed up to full since we were there. We are going to do a handful of little things here. I'm just not exactly sure what those things are yet. So I said that we sold, I'm going to take the 56 gold, uh, the 56 gold, gold dagger, 21 gold, gold chain, four silver, half gold pendant. I had all this like random stuff, eight, uh, gold, gold buckle, not a lot of gold. Uh, four gold, ornate gold ring. I, I could have been just draped in gold, it sounds like. And a 30 gold potion of willpower, only because I have the domination one, which is the same thing but better. So, you know, we can at least sell that for 15 gold because you you cut all the prices in half. So this winds up being uh, 15, it was 119 gold and 10 gold make, eight, uh, one gold makes 10 silver. So it was... It was so 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 we had we had 14 silver and 118 right so we have 59 gold and seven silver that's that's how it worked out now I, I've never done this so I don't know so let's see here so the book says let's 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 make sure we're all on the same page here so it says uh, selling an item blah 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 half your stuff and I didn't have anything else that was valuable it didn't mention I mean a gold dagger is more like a miscellaneous item since there's no weapon use for it right it's like a showpiece right uh, since I didn't sell any gems which retain their full value I didn't deal with that uh, but we're doing armor scrolls potions magic items and stuff is all half value. Traders on the stalls can be tough at times and generous at others to see how effective your bartering skills are. Okay, so this is where I get lost. Roll 2d6. We got an 8. Add your adventurer level, so we're 4, so this becomes 6, so that's 12. Deduct your precision, which is 2. So now we have whatever, a, that that's 10, right? That was probably the best roll I could have made. And then it says consult the market bartering table on the following page uh market bartering table uh i got a 10. you did well and stood strong on a couple of deals you add 10 percent to the sell price of the loot so that was like really the best best thing that i could have could have gotten so essentially here we have we have i mean oh, this is so messed up what's 10 percent is another 5.9 gold, right? So that's that's nine more SC and five more gold, right? That's easy to do. So we have 64 gold, and then what is what does it say? 10% of seven SC. That's not quite a whole S. Oh god. Uh, so it's and it's so it's it's seven seven SC still, but it's then seven seven cc right seven copper okay so let's let's make sure we have this right so i think that's seven more copper uh but then we did get our seven plus nine here so 16 i guess of that and then we got 64 gold total i think that was right i think that was right that sounds sounds about right 10 percent more of 59 is, is an easy plus plus five but then there's that nine it was almost plus six but not quite. So if we drop that down to the SC, that was that was you know nine uh, SC to add to that, which is this gives us sixteen SC. But the ten percent would have only been on the seven, 
uh, which would have been 7cc. So there we go. Okay, yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm buying that. Okay, so this is what we have now. <laughs> okay, so now you think that was fun. Then where's my little calculator here? So we have we have 64 plus 42. So we have 106 gold now, which sounds like a lot. But I don't feel like it is. And then what, 86 silver, right? 86 silver. I mean, which we can kind of convert, right? And then this is 24, 24, right? So we can kind of convert this, right? We can say this is 2SC and 4 of this. This becomes 16, right? This becomes 16, which then becomes 6 which becomes 107 gold, all right? I don't care, there's a, there's a change maker person there somewhere in this village, I just know it. Okay, then we have more stuff to do, right? We can then go, um, we can buy some rations, which is so funny, look at that. You can buy a maximum of three adventuring rations at the tavern for 10 SC. That's a gold piece. Okay, so let's buy, let's just do that since I feel like I need it now, right? Is it, no, not, not in the back of this, on the back of this. Okay, so we're gonna go to eight, because we're allowed to buy a maximum of three, right? So that's gonna cost me three gold, so we're at 104, 104. I wanna make sure that we get all the stuff that we need, right? So that is, um, oh, I didn't even write it on here. The selling is done, the rations done. I think, I think is it every map I'm using a full pen here? What's going on? All right, then we have the temple, which we can get, we can go, so we can go to the temple or the tavern, and since we're done with the dungeon, just the way I've structured this on purpose, uh, we're gonna go to the temple. Uh, we know we're gonna bring that that garnet. We still have it, because th this hasn't happened yet. We're gonna bring the garnet down there, so we wanna make sure we have a good shot at this. So we're gonna we're gonna do internic, the Merc here. Uh, so there's the temple, the one FP. Then when we go back, we do the three. And then now do we wanna, what do we wanna buy, right? So we can buy stuff now. Now we can buy, if at the bottom down there it says, Nope, wrong page. It says buying items. You can also buy items at the market. All types of armor, magic, po oh, armor. Okay, so now we have to go, so, and now let's just basically look in the tables codex, right? So if we go back here, this is exciting. And now we have actually, you know, have some money. So here's, here's some tables. Here's some tables, right? So there's, what is this? Exchanged enchanted armor, but there's no, there's no magic, right? So I don't really know, oh, why does this look so weird? Oh, I got the wrong button. Okay, so let's go back here. I'm, I might just keep it on this view. Buying items, all types of armor, magic potions, and magic scrolls are available. So, I mean, look at how amazing this is. Armor table one, and it all has a cost so I can buy this stuff, right? Somehow, like, I just, pff, I don't know, completely, completely over, oh, I'm, I want that button, but this button, okay. Uh, tables, codex for the items, yeah, right? All armor, magic potions, and magic scrolls, but no other magic items. Refer to the tables codex. You must pay full price listed for any items you buy. Now, miscellaneous items are also available, but I, I really would like to buy an acorn for this, but I don't, uh, you know, for, for, for this right here, like an acorn, because this is who now? Red, 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 I can never remember her name. Red, Racina, Rad, Radicina, right? Uh, I'd, I'd love to have some vegetables. And you know they sell this kind of stuff up there, right? So um, just for fun, let's take a look at the miscellaneous crap table here, right? And this is not a comprehensive list. This is just to give you an idea to kind of base the stuff, you know, off of what you think you would find. Now look at that. You can buy pouches, bottles, caskets for super cheap. I wish I would have paid more attention to this. When I first started the game, you know, like like like, like right after I read the, the town section, which I kind of put off because I was like, I'll read that whenever I, I finish a level. Well, that didn't happen. You guys saw it happen twice now, so we're doing it, we're doing it this time. Okay. Uh so what do we want to do here? Starting so we'd see none of that stuff here. Gems, that's not my problem. Value of miscellaneous items. What do we think? What do we think? Mushrooms, roots, seeds. See, there's like no organic stuff on this list, right? Rope, leather strap, strong glue, metal plates. It's got to be super cheap. One ration is a gold, though. So, I mean, I don't know. You would think, I don't know how much to make a, an acorn worth. Maybe we'll figure that out later. Uh, so, you know what? For now, sometimes sometimes you don't get to do all the things you want to do, right? That's the best part about like roguelike stuff is what do you have? What can you make of it? Maybe it was a Maybe it was a bad season. Maybe they didn't get any acorns. Maybe we didn't get any seeds. It's a bad harvest, right? So let's go back here. Now with our 104 gold, I realize now buying the, the, the salves at the beginning of this was just me not knowing what I was doing. 
This is the list I need to be shopping on, right? We have 104 gold. What if we bought ourselves a winged helmet to protect from sixes and twos, right? The problem there is I also need a potion of healing or two. Well, the problem is we have so many HP now and guys hit so hard, those potions are expensive, right? If we go to the magic potions table and we look about a quarter down from the top, heal up to 30 health points is going to be 28 gold pieces. So that'd be what? 64, 56 of our gold. So 56 of our gold down, we would essentially have what, 48, 56, We'd have 48 gold left to, to, to go shopping with. So can I buy two healing potions and something for 48 gold is what I'm looking at. So I had no idea how much gold I'd have coming out of this, by the way. So this is, this is news to me. So with 48 gold, we can protect from, look at that. That's not so bad. Shoulder platelets, ones and ones, right? We can, we can, we can totally just shrug off some ones from those guys. Have enemies been rolling ones on us? I'm not so sure. What about a wooden shield? You know what? Wait a minute. Shields definitely sound like my guy. Oh, yeah, an axe and a shield. Hold the phone here. What else is on here? Full plate with 650 gold. Wow. Okay, so we're nowhere near. I mean, or we could buy a great helm and then just just risk it. We could just risk it. Oh, that's so, that's so tempting. I kind of want to, ooh. I mean, we could sell some gems, right? We have, uh, we have, God, where are they? We have, we have a high quality garnet and a medium quality sapphire i didn't even think about this right so a high quality garnet high quality garnet is what 40 gold and a medium quality sapphire a medium quality sapphire mid quality sapphire is eight gold so we, we oh my god we theoretically have 48 more gold than i thought Ooh, that suddenly becomes very and they sell for their value i think it said right so 48 gold what if we did that uh plus 48 gold 152 gold. What if we sold all of this stuff? Gem combination. I mean, I, I, I guess we, we couldn't do it now. Let's see, that's gem combinations. I don't even have any idea what that is. I clicked on the wrong thing. Potions here. I lost my armor table. Starting armor, magic scroll, magic items. Oh, it's the very first one under A. Um, right. So, see, that's 28 gold for the extra healing. is awfully pricey, especially if we bought you know, two of the Ilios leaves instead. Oh my god. Oh, the gauntlets are sick. So I don't know. I think maybe that, that we don't have enough. I think I think we definitely need to think about taking our 104 gold and buying at least, uh, let's see, 104 minus, what did I say it was? 28. So if it was 28 gold for one, 76 gold. Can we buy something better with that? A winged helmet. A six and a two. Maybe we worry about a, sh a, a, a thing later. Um, a shield later. A five and a six. I don't know. That's kind of good. All right. So yeah, no, I, I've got to make a decision here. So let's do this. Let's go to the magic potions table and we're going to say 104 gold pieces and we are going to purchase, let's see, minus two Let's see, 30 health potions are 28. So we're gonna go minus 28 and minus 28. That'll leave us, what, 48. Yeah, and then with 48, we can buy the banded shield. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and go magic potions table. And so this will bring us down to 48 gold. Now, we're not gonna be able to buy any herbs or what, I can't believe this. Uh, so we have a extra heal. E-X-T-R-A, okay, extra. We need this heal, all right, because we almost died. Plus 30 HP, plus 30 HP. Okay, so we're down to 48 gold. We have two of those extra healing potions. So with our 48 gold, we bounce on over to the armor table, and we can buy a banded shield. Okay, this is great. Banded shield. I like it. And the dice set of a banded shield is six and five. So that's already, you know, way better, man, than what we had here. Banded shield is minus two, but it does cost us 45 uh, of our 48 gold. So we're down to three gold pieces, right? So with three gold pieces, we're, we're, we're basically broke at this point. We, we, we can't really buy anything else. Um, yeah, that's that's a bummer. Is our, our prices there? No, I was hoping I had prices for the 
I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have prices for the stuff. That's okay. That's all right. I think we did really well. Um, maybe I shouldn't have wasted my money last time. That's that's herbs are too expensive. They're just too expensive for us. I wanted to look one last time at our leveling up. If we can get to level five, we can have two. Let's see. It says right max. Ma let's see number and a max level of maneuvers. Right level five is going to get us a second one of those level two maneuvers and three shift points. That is going to be a game changer for us. Right. We are going to be a killing machine. So. The downside of buying the extra healing potions, two of those, is that I can't buy the Macau leaves or whatever, the other things. I only have one of those, two of those anyway. I could buy two Ilios instead of the extra heal potion, and we could we could like farm that for 40, 40 experience, right? We, we make two of those, we heal 20 points. So that's that's a thought, but you know, um, let's let's keep our potions, I think, the way they are for now. I think we're in pretty good shape. I, I definitely, I don't think we're going to get lucky and just pull up a bunch of potions again, so I'm not too worried about, uh, you know, maybe being overly full on potions, uh, because that would be a bad thing too. I didn't want to really sell the other ones, but uh, we're going to need some, we need to heal fast and I mean, we've got, we can we can pray for it once. It looks like I mean, we can pray for a lot of things. Like some friggin' lock picks up here would have been gorgeous, right? Oh, we still can. We're still in this dungeon, right? All right, I'm I'm looking for herbs, and I, mean, I don't know why I'm, I'm I'm too focused on screwing around that I'm not finding the herb chart I want here, right? Where is it? Herbalist. Okay, so yeah, there's nothing I can really buy that's gonna. And all the useful stuff is ten gold, and we only have three gold. So okay, fine. So then, so we're done in town. We can come back in here. And I mean, now the question becomes, do we think what is in there is worth blowing through four points a favor? Probably not. We're probably going to need another full heal on the next level. So I do believe that Eduardo will, uh, will see you on level four, which is the haunted. So we will see you then. Thanks for watching. And remember, games are made for everyone's recreation. I'll see you next time.